Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sins and Consequences, a Blades in the Dark actual play podcast hosted by Dragon's Creed Gaming. What am I going to talk about this week? Well, the music you're listening to right now, as I say every week, um, was composed and written by the one, the only, Sydney Fable. Um, you can check out their um, their YouTube, which is in the description below. You can check out their glam rock band, the Blam Blams, also posted in the description below. Um, just uh, thank you again, Sydney, if you happen to be listening to this. Um, your music's awesome, and you're awesome. Um, what else have we got going on? We got the Patreon. Guys, um, someone was over on the Discord in the Patreon uh, in the patrons layer today um asking oh, yeah. questions and that reminded me that we have a patreon and you guys we might do. want to check it out we got tons of exclusive content over there they got weekly or monthly art being released by kyle the Redbeard. you can hear on some of the other dragon screen shows um we got um some more shadow run coming out on there eventually um what else do we got going on um over at patreon I don't know. I'm not a member of the Patreon. It's 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 um, <laughs> it's too to crazy for me. <laughs> I, 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 feel like, my blood. <laughs> I feel like I contribute a lot to the channel in other ways by being on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> well you get you get the updates. You get the updates about exactly what's happening in Chris's life. Exactly yes. what's yes. happening I, in Chris's I life. Did, I did spy on that a little bit and it is it is detailed. Like, I know what he ate for dinner. (laughs) It's great. It's great. It's great. In case you wanted to stalk him harder. Uh, But yeah, uh, what else is on there? I don't know. They got the the other shows. You get early access, I think, to some stuff. You get the art. You get... uh, You get a Um, cool color for your name for the Discord. That's where it's at. Yes. And yes. um, and, and, And even if you're not a Patreon member, you should still check out the Discord. We invite people who don't pay us to just talk to us as well. Yeah, you can hang out. You can, um, you can, you can chat. Yeah. We'll talk to you. Yeah, actually. Um, we like you. Recently, Danix. Oh, yeah, dude. Danix, um, who has commented a couple times on the uh, the Shadowrun uh, game, has recently um, popped on over to the Discord. Um, I've seen him on Facebook and stuff as well. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy um, because he comments on the videos. And if you want me to call you cool, leave some comments, <laughs> leave some reviews. Otherwise, you fucking suck. Um, no, uh, thank you for listening. But also, um, a little thirsty well, there, Aaron. Just, just, just a little. Not a little strong. Dude, honestly, <laughs> not a little desperate. <laughs> honestly, so my wife um, has uh, abandoned me and she's left to go and do things with her sister this weekend. And so I've been all alone. So I am thirsty, Ethan. It shows. Real thirsty. <laughs> is, that what, over? is that what the cat shirt's about? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, the Does cat shirt is notice the outfits that these Canadian guys are wearing? Yeah. No. Is there something going outfit. on? Is there some sort of holiday? Mm. With button-up shirts? No, it, and, and it's outfits? fucking hot as shit. It's hot oh, as shit. Oh, yeah. yes. You I too, Theo. Adam, you're if the you're only one here that's shirt? not wearing a button no shirt. Even well, I, CJ knows, has a knows CJ, is wearing I guess, I guess. So <laughs> CJ has done this thing that's, that is blowing my mind, and you're you're probably going to hear me talk about it a lot today. CJ has uh, transformed into a cartoon character. Uh, s- somehow. You all can't see it in this technology. audio format. You know, we'll never know, <laughs> but I have transformed yeah yes. so so in our little uh we're, we're recording this through zoom in our little zoom video session where we can all see each other cj is now a cartoon character and there's a little pixie fella flying around near her that um uh she cannot directly interact with and that would be the watermark <laughs> that's the watermark either way it's awesome and my mind is blown is thoroughly entertaining to me i am wearing a t-shirt because i am lazy nice uh speaking of well since adam since you were speaking why don't you introduce yourself talk about your characters talk about your life okay uh sorry that's me i'm adam hello um i will be playing someone i'm not sure who but uh probably like ludes or maybe marv possibly jacob we'll see what happens uh one of them i'm gonna let you guess which one one of them's a nice guy one of them's not a nice guy one of them yes. likes to punch people. There you go. Anyhow, what have I been up to? Let's see. Work. Uh, you know, I do that pretty frequently. Uh, I went to St. Louis 
uh, over last weekend. That's where I was. That's why I wasn't here. And that was pretty rad. Uh, it was a great, you know, easy going weekend. I got to meet up with, uh, if you if you're familiar with Shadowrun content, if you've listened to Shadowrun podcast, um, there's one called Resting Glitch Face. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. It's great. Uh, I got to hang out with Sid from Resting Glitch Face in person, which was really cool. Um, Sid works in this really cool place where there's beehives on the roof and you can go see them. It's awesome. So we did that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was cool. We got to we got to hang out and had fun and uh, uh, we met each other's uh, wives, which was cool. And um, I got a tattoo. That was cool. I ate a lot of great food. I got I got this crepe that had pistachios on it. Man, it was great. I love pistachios. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, Gen Con. That's coming up. That's coming up real soon. A couple of days. We're gonna be in in uh, in Indianapolis, running some games, mm-hmm. talking to some people, hanging out. I think you can talk great. about it like it's already happened though, because this comes out afterwards. Yeah. So oh, wasn't okay, it great, fair. Adam? <laughs> I remember that time when I went to Gen Con next week, <laughs> two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I don't know how this works. I exist around time. Time is a, a weird thing. I like to, I don't know if I've talked about time before on here, but I think time is already all existing. It's like a book, that, like a choose your own adventure book that already exists. And we can only read in one direction, but but you could flip the page to a different section. I don't know. I, let's not talk about time. Just, I'll be here for way too long. You just don't and, know the language. You ever seen the movie Arrival? <laughs> nope. Oh, not well, that's time. the premise of the, that's the premise of it. If you learn this alien language, you can live at all points in your life at the same time. Huh. That sounds awesome. I will watch that. Uh, uh, yeah, so so that time that I went to Gen Con, it was great. You know, I ran those games and I met those people and I drank some beers. And then uh, I also uh, uh, did some stuff. I got a book. Ooh, I got a book. I got a new book at Gen Con in the future. Uh, Subversion. New role-playing game. Ooh. Cyberpunk Ooh. fantasy thing. Kind of like Shadowrun a little bit. Maybe written by some people that wrote some Shadowrun stuff, you know, whatever. But it's cool. It's super cool. I'm very excited about having uh, picked up the physical copy at Gen Con in the past. Um, I'm excited. And future? Uh, yeah, all over the place, all throughout time. Subversion, check it out. Fragging Unicorn Games. There you go. Check them out. Nice. That's it. That's what I got. All right. Speaking of fragging unicorns. Ethan, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I'd be the least likely person for that transition <laughs> to, to come into. Yeah, no, I'm doing great. I've had a really fun, busy week. I uh, actually went whale watching, which is a Ooh. thing that you have to do while you're in Boston. So I had to go and, and do that, which is great. Um, first time I've done that. And I actually got to see some whales, which is great. Because, you know, nice. when we started this whole campaign, I was talking about you know, looking for dolphins and not actually seeing any. So yeah, a little you more. almost saw a dolphin. Exactly. But you yeah. actually yeah. saw a whale. So there you go. It's Mostly pretty cool, the man. tail, but yeah, no, it's, it's really neat. Um, really love that. And then also we are going to be moving in a week. And so oh. it's been fun packing up tons of boxes, all of that. And so that's been keeping me busy and it's been stressing out my cat, which is, I think it's Bad. just, it's such an interesting scenario that one, because like, you go and you Google, like, is my cat stressed out? And then they just describe a cat. They're like, is it skittish? <laughs> is it like, does yes. it not have, like, is it have dissonant attention? Is it doing, and you're like, this is just a yeah, cat. A cat. Like, and, yeah. Right? <laughs> and it's so like, oh, it's, just, it's like, I guess, I guess it's always stressed out. And that's the problem <laughs> going on. <laughs> all cats at all times. My cat are you, gets how far are you brushed, like, tell all the time. Sorry. <laughs> no, you don't need to be sorry. CJ. What? How how are you? Oh, What's okay. What's going on? Uh Well, speak about cats. My cat knocked stuff off off of my uh sewing table and it stabbed my foot. Ooh. I've got a pin like halfway through my toe. I, I did hear I did hear that. It's like, look, yeah. you can't just be happy after you stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was wondering what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> What's going on over there with this cartoon character? <laughs> oh, okay. 
uh, like I said, no one else can see it because this is an audio based program. <laughs> uh, I, I set up a VTube model because I thought that would be fun. I came on to the stream and I was like, what? You feel more <laughs> famous. Like, I, I feel like I'm talking to a more <laughs> famous person because you are this VTuber now. Oh my Bye. God, what is CJ secretly famous? <laughs> <laughs> CJ's uh, cartoon avatar has this weird tendency to 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 wink. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I I have I have concerned that your avatar has pink eye. I I mean yes, <laughs> the eyes are <laughs> a little more purple go. than pink. But there you go. Hi, I'm CJ. I'm playing Myri the Leech and maybe also Shiova the Ghost. Uh, is uh, we had I I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> That's okay. Very spooky. Um, <laughs> <It's all> spooky. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, we got one more person left. Um, and that would be Dio. Dio, what's up? How how's it going? How's it hanging? I I've gone back to work. I, I was having a staycation. It was it was a nice staycation. Oh, nice. I didn't get to do anything. I was it was nuts. But now I'm back at work and uh, I'm back to the chaos. Uh, I don't miss it. But yeah, it, it's very it's been a very uneventful uh, week for me. But I am playing uh, only albatross and albatross accessories. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm ready to uh, have more traumas. Uh, <laughs> Just give me some of your trauma. I don't gotten any trauma. Yeah, you can't well, be that. That. I mean, I, I mean, passing on traumas like that technically doesn't make people friends. No, <laughs> they don't. They don't. But yeah, no, parents. You need to need to get even more reckless. Get real reckless with it. Um, but yeah. I guess I'll, I'll talk. This is me. It's Aaron, also known as Poultry Geist. Um, this week has been full of nothing but disappointment. Oh. Um, yeah, I've been disappointed because Dio asked me to make him a playlist of Canadian music. And then I got <laughs> excited because I thought he was coming to Canada. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, was... It turns out there was a totally different reason why. I don't know if you want to talk about other podcasts or not there, Dio, but yeah, he's not coming to Canada, so I don't get to see Dio's face, um, potentially, because I thought maybe he'd be coming to my neck of the woods. But um, no, and then on top of that, I found out that, um, I, or I posted in the Discord in response to his request, initially I posted a, a link to a single song known as Ram Ranch. And <laughs> nobody said a thing about it <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't check it out i didn't look at it i'm sorry yeah it's okay ram ranch is the best song ever in it's about 20 Ooh, that's bold. yeah it's 20 sweaty cowboys in a shower i've, I've, I've heard, I've heard <laughs> Taylor's song. i clicked on the playlist and i looked at it and i was at work and I went, I'm not listening to any of this. And it, I just had to close it. Again. <laughs> it, it, it okay, if it helps, I listen to it, but I also disassociated like 20 seconds into the song. And that's. <laughs> and they it's sent not, him on a not... spirit quest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't listening, but like, at, at least I was present for it. <laughs> there you go. Ram Ranch. Yeah. Um, oh but God. yes, that is the best song ever made in Canada. Um, and is an accurate description of what it's like to live in Canada, for sure. I mean, it, it, uh, I hope I hope this makes up for it, and or doesn't make you angrier. I did put "Let's Go to the Mall" by Robin Sparkles in yep. it. Yep, that's okay. That's, that's, that's okay. the second thing I was going to recommend, other than uh, the one that I did, which was uh, "I'm in love with a girl named Spike" by Skank and Pickle. Uh, Ooh. it's about Spike from Degrassi. So if it helps anything <laughs> as well, both songs made it onto the playlist. So <laughs> there you go. But yeah, no, um, so yeah, and then other than that, I've been chilling. Um, I eat pogos today because um, I'm alone and I like what is pogos. What, what, is, po what is a pogo? You guys don't have pogos? It's a they're, 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 pogo it's stick. Dog. This yeah, better not be like craft lunches. It's corn dog. No, it's, it's a corn dog. Corn dog. Oh, but, it is but like, it's like craft a box lunches. of corn dogs. You know, yeah. like you just like put yeah. like four of them on a plate and you nuke them. So, you have a time of your life. So, so yes. what, what's um, corn dog? 
What's the wordplay on this? Why is it called a pogo? It's like Kleenex. The... It's just yeah. like the... It's a brand oh, it's just like a brand of... Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Do you guys get corn for... dog nuggets up there? Oh, no. what was the thing in Britain? Ooh. Like, rock candy was called something else. Like, it was... It, well, if it's England, they're probably calling it something like like a... Like Rocky Bach or something. Rocky Bocky. No, oh, I, I think no. I think we can all unify Dony together Wounds? and say that remember. the British are weird. <laughs> they're weird. Like, they are. Hey, England, you're weird. What's up with that? Yeah, Come what's on. up with that? Also, guys, um, we hit top ten in games Ooh. and leisure in Kenya. Oh, yeah, Kenya! Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey, yeah, no, seriously, thank you for listening. If you are in Kenya and listening, um, if you're elsewhere and listening, also thank you. But mostly, if you're from Kenya, specifically Kenya. If yeah, you're elsewhere, Kenyan dudes. Jump onto your VPN, switch over to Kenya, give us a listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's the best course of action there. Um, and with all that being said, it's time we return to the twilight city of Duskfall. Uh, last week, our, um, our heroes, our scoundrels, our cult members um, of the Soul Seekers um, successfully managed to steal the Eye of Kotar, along with a few other things, Ooh. from the Spark Rites in Charter Hall. Um, they did so with, um, I will, I'll say minimal casualties. Um, I mean, Albatross kind of killed a couple of innocent civilians, but that's okay. Sounds right. Oh, yeah, Things that did happen. happen. What do you mean it sounds right? <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, he was un He was under the influence of Rage Essence at the time, so that's... That sounds uh, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, 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 it, it, it was definitely okay. It it it, it wasn't by choice. The the person mm -hmm. I shot down from the plane threw it at my face. What? Yep. I missed. Yep. You missed. I missed. You missed, missed a lot. You'll have to I, listen I, to I, I the episode, something. Adam. You have to listen to the episode. I will. Uh, I have, because by the time you're listening to this, I will have. I did. I listened to it, and I probably enjoyed it. There you go. Maybe. Um. But now that you've returned to the library, um, we're, we're entering into downtime. You guys managed to get into downtime without getting into any problems because you lucked out on the entanglements roll and you have no friends. Um, <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that sounds right. Yeah. Uh, but what else we got going on here? Um, Albatross. Dio, would you say that Albatross is someone who dreams, like, or has dreams, Ooh, or remembers his question. dreams? Uh, he is a man who has more nightmares. The occasional okay. dream does come as a luxury, but very far and wide. It's fair. Um, that night, when you, um, the, the, the next night, and this may happen after other stuff that we describe later on, uh, because time is a little wishy-washy and, and blades in the dark, but the next I mean, time I mean, you sleep... Yeah, timey wimey. Um, but the next time you rest, um, you find yourself having a nightmare. Oh boy. Specifically, there seems to be like a goat wearing a yellow robe that is eating your arm, your good Ooh. arm. Ooh. And um, despite any like inclination to you know maybe stop that from happening your body seems to be paralyzed in fear and as you um look away from the goat perhaps you look up and there seems to be like a serpent opening its maw and then you are blinded by light how and how, then you will wake up how big is the serpent um, I would say, like, monumental in size, like, kind of beyond <laughs> the scope of mortal comprehension. Fuck! Oh, oh. That's... That's that's some good fucking weird dreams. Um, but yeah, that, that is the dream that you have most recently after you, um, return from this latest adventure. Like doinks, man. I'm tripping out, man. So, no, <laughs> out here seeing a giant fucking snake. Okay. Uh, wait one moment. Oh, there's Jacob, more. Jacob Bridgewater. Hold on, let me get in. On, yeah. on the same evening as you um, rest 
you find yourself um, standing atop of like a mountain on a bright sunny day um, when a large bird begins to tear like it flies towards you swoops down and begins to like tear at your flesh this, oddly sorry, enough is, is this a dream this is a dream oh okay great i'm like yes what? <laughs> yes this is <laughs> roll resistance yeah. Okay. Yeah. i mean i should have i should have lied and said no and then i would have been like oh. <laughs> um gotcha okay but yes okay. um as you do this um the there's like a cloud or something above you um kind of, the covers you in shadow and as you do as as the shadow kind of embraces you this bird kind of combusts and it burns and it falls and there's just a moment where jacob bridgewater uh, begins to like dissect the bird and eat its organs you feel like that's a very natural thing for you to be doing in this moment okay seems right seems like the thing to seems do. yes um you know you ever have one of those dreams where you're just doing something and you have no idea why yeah absolutely all the time yeah i have yeah. a lot of weird dreams yes and so does jacob and so does albatross but in this moment um yeah you eventually wake up from that they Yes. You do not have a dream at all. In fact, you've been finding that ever since you've descended into the depths below and had your um your dreamlike walk and visit with um whoever that was beneath the willow tree, you have been unable to dream. Well, that's a little hard to <laughs> There's nothing. I'm, I'm telling you what's happening. I'm not saying you got to role play that. I'm just saying it's just like you're like Dio. Here's a cool dream. Adam. Here's a cool dream. I mean, there was a whole episode dedicated to your dream. <laughs> I want <laughs> more. <laughs> Another. Uh, you get sleep deprivation. Uh, CJ. Yes. I'm giving you the most difficult dream yet because you will have agency. Um, the next time you sleep after returning from with um, the eye of Kotar, um, you find yourself um, feeling particularly restless. And when you wake up, you find yourself in your own bed. However, looming nearby is a figure. Um, it doesn't feel threatening. Um, but there is somebody watching in the corner of Are you do you say or do anything at that can point I, in time? Can I move? As you jolt is... awake. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wait. Okay, so wait, so you say I'm awake, and then I see someone looming. Yeah. I'll get, I, that'd be immediate, just like, kind of like, jump, like, bah! like, they jump yes, out of bed. Yeah, fall there back, seems backwards. to be a figure in the darkness. Okay, and as you fall backwards, you kind of fall into, like, the sheets, and it surrounds you kind of like you are falling into a lake or, like, a body of water. You, um... You open your eyes and you find yourself in that space that we once described when you first found that um, that that place that you've uh, claimed as your vice den, that cathedral with the windows and the iconography and the uh, spirits that are walking around. All right. Is there anything that you would like to look at in here or or do before I move on? And tell you what happens next. Uh, what is so? It looks like, like the people look like the normal same. Like it doesn't look like there's any like everything's still chill here. Yeah, it's it's very serene. 
um, is the word I would use to describe it. Yes. Myri would start walking towards the stained glass a little bit. Okay. Um, you walk towards the stained glass, and um, for the first time that you've been down here, I don't know how often Myri has visited this place, but each time um, the light outside has been too bright, it's been blinding, and you haven't been able to see what's going on outside of this room. But um, you see kind of off in the distance, and yet you can see every detail of this as if it's right in front of you. Um, is a man in a yellow robe um, being eaten by a bird. You look maybe through a different stained glass window and you see albatross um, being consumed by a goat. And you look through a third window and you see Vey being like you see that scene that we described when they was being consumed by the man in the tree mm -hmm. you see that moment what the fuck is going on well shit and myri as you turn around um you see the figure of the the weeping lady except that she's no longer a statue. She's just a woman standing there with large wings. And she speaks to you. She says to you, there are methods of finding your end. Your compatriots have chosen something dark and something painful. Is this the path you seek as well? I can't say getting eaten by chi yellow cloaks seems like fun time. You're, you're not you're, you're not mad at me, right? About the whole the old thing. I. I'm beyond furious, but also beyond ecstatic and beyond loving. I am... I am... saddened. Most of all. And you do see that, like, as she speaks to you, like, tears are pouring down her face, even though she's maybe not expressing, like, sadness in her choice of words. That she, This is an incredibly sad woman. Like, a mm -hmm. supernaturally sad woman. Oh, professional why you <laughs> Why'd you have to be uh, so mean? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, she says, you have awoken something larger than you would ever comprehend. With this comes much power. But you and your compatriots must be prepared to pay the cost. And I assume those visions are showing what the cost is. Hmm. For some of them, it's too late. But where are the man under the tree? For nothing he offers is free. And um, there's a moment where she closes the wings kind of over herself and they grow and they surround you as well. And then you wake up and there's a single feather on your chest. And now we go into downtime, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Now, now we're now we're good. All right. Now we're good. Now we're good. Remember, you guys chose to receive visions, vague, almost incomprehensible visions, that describe what may or may not be your God's will. Uh, did we? <laughs> yes. Okay. 
I, I like that it may right. or may not. May or may not. In, <laughs> like that gives more information. Mm. I do or do not know. <laughs> Let's get right, so, uh, I'm, I'm getting anxious. Uh, <laughs> But Sweet. yes, um, we'll maybe return back to the moment um, that you guys re-entered the library. Um, you see Marv is there. Marv um, and and his injured uh, gang of Docker thugs. Um, they seem to be kind of tending to their wounds. Um, Marv seems particularly upset um, that he didn't get to fight Master Crockett. Oh. Um, that would have punched him. Punched him in the face. <laughs> um you also see that um yeah daniel derviso's there to greet you um whoever you want but um go ahead and tell me what you guys would do when you return back from this latest score and we can talk mechanics we can talk narrative i'm just giving i'm opening the floor I think uh, I think if Marv and the Dockers got roughed up, from my understanding, there were dogs involved, so it's a pun. Uh, they uh, they'd be hanging out with the ladies, getting their heel on. Absolutely, um, and so and mechanically, they're all, they're all like eating eating uh, eating sausages. <laughs> I don't know what's in the sausage, con considering you know the food situation, but they're all yeah. eating sausages, and it looks like a bunch of dudes with stogies. But they're eating sausages and like talking and playing cards while getting bandaged up. Absolutely. Um, and mechanically, um, cohorts heal heal differently than you guys do. At least um, I'm gonna homebrew this. They will recover as long as you don't use them um, cool. in in downtime um, at a rate of one per downtime. So okay. they'll be back. The two more downtimes, they'll be at full health. Okay. Um, but yeah. Um, that is what you all return to. Shiova found some documents. Is she sharing them with the group? Uh, this is like right when everyone gets back. I think she was out later because she was like hanging out with that guy to like soul suck him. Yep. So I think she she's not going to be returning until later. So the girl is actually going to be uh, following behind Vey <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Just kind of following him. Gobbling up them souls, huh? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Larp it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Slurping those souls. Put a little bit of oh, Lowry's on them souls. They, mm. how does it feel to be followed by this strange girl that you uh, may or may not have actually spoken to before? Um. Well, I'll I'll give her this much. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy that uh, she's not that much of a talker because it kind of lets me think and actually you know they is quite happy with um how you know that score went and so you know there's definitely um i think you know there's an amount of you know dio or yeah i'm sorry albatross got really scuffed up in that uh in the last one there so i think there's a bit of you know uh i don't know maybe yeah they'd be um you know kind of I think trying to talk Albatross up a bit. It's like, hey, like, you know, you did a really great job there. And, uh, you know, you really, you know, gave one for the team. And I got to say, you know, against all odds, you, you, you sure as heck, uh, you know, took care of that woman. I complete my dues. And, uh, you know, I think... Yeah, coming back, you know, um, Adam kind of just described this thing of like, you know, the, the dockers there and stogies and all of that. And I think there is, you know, a good cause for celebration. You know, we've, um, you know, this is no small feat. And so, you know, maybe just having a quick, uh, a quick round of, of, you know, shots all around to just kind of say, uh, you know, good job and, you know, congrats to us for having completed this and have made it back mostly unscathed. I would love for the Dockers to, as as you propose a round of shots, the Dockers to all start kind of chuckling a little bit and, <laughs> uh, and you know, some of them start, they start throwing elbows into each other 
and like all at once they stop and they all turn to you and all of them lift up flasks and they're like yeah <laughs> and they're all like laughing and slapping each other on the back and one guy's like oh, I got bit there by a dog you know and uh, and uh, you know they start drinking and you know like these guys have been drinking a little bit but now they're like well it's a party so you know they start pouring out and like it turns into a thing where these guys most people's idea of you know a good time of celebrating and drinking these guys are fucking crazy so you start you know having a couple of drinks and like these dudes are like pouring and pouring and pouring and you've got like it tastes like lighter fluid like you're getting like stuff this dude made in a bathtub like you're getting crazy stuff and like it gets raucous Dust these guys are playing Malort. cards <laughs> oh, dude, gross, Malort, no, yuck. Uh, uh, hey, uh, up there in Canada, you don't have Malort. Be grateful. Ma- <laughs> don't have Malort, okay. Yeah, you've probably never heard of it. Keep it that way. It's the uh, worst. It tastes Anybody like Anybody that knows tires. about Malort, it's the worst. I got a buddy. You, uh, you're you listening to this, you probably know Kyle. Think about Kyle. You probably know him. He claims to like Malort. And I know he's lying. And I know he's lying. Because it's impossible. It's disgusting. It's like a dandelion liqueur, maybe. I don't know. It tastes like if you were to take um if you were to take like a like an ashtray, right? And you leave it outside and it rains into the ashtray, and then you pour that in through an old gym sock, and then you wring that out, and then you put some brown whatever that it means, into it, and then drink that. That's what fucking Malort tastes like. It's disgusting. It tastes the exact same as my bile. Excellent. It's the worst. I'm going to have the, so much of it when it I come worst. out of the States. It's the worst. But yeah, they're drinking, they're drinking Malort. <laughs> and as they drink Malort, I'm going to roll a fortune roll for them. Yeah. Because you guys, yeah. and specifically Marv, um, acquired an asset recently. Oh. Of a bunch of supplies. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. A bunch it's of party the, supplies. The, 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 See how the, good it is. The um, sausage stogies came from. They're probably yeah. filled with, like, hagfish. It's probably a hagfish that's stuffed with um, cricket, ground-up cricket, and then um, grilled. Okay. Right. I will give you a couple options based on what, I, what the role ends up being about Let's what the it. benefits or harm of this are. Ooh, let's do it. Oh. Okay, so it's benefits. I will give you a choice. Um, either I will allow you to fill up three sections of the acquire followers Ooh. clock, Ooh. or I will allow you to move up two status factions with the citizenry of six towers. Mm. Ooh, that's a hard choice. Ooh, that is hard. I want the second one. I want. Uh, I I think. Um, I think Me. one of the things that we've been doing has been getting you know, helping six towers grow and you know and and, and into that right. And if you're throwing like a great it. rager that like you know like goes it. out a little bit into the rest of the the town as you know, people are having fun. They separate and they go out and all of that. And then, I think yeah, it drives really well. I like yeah. it. I like it. I'm into it. That's that's cool. Yeah, um, so the thugs, and, and you guys are welcome to partake and join in as well, but the thugs, um, these dockers, they kind of burst forth after um, you've had a few rounds, and they decide that they need to take the party to the streets, and they take oh, these yeah. crates that Marv had brought over um, out to the streets, and they basically start a cookout in oh, the grounds. Dude, I love it. I love nice. it. Nice. I love it. In the grounds. loud. Yelling, yeah. oh, ah, we're drinking, come on over. You know, and people start, they're like, well, you guys keep it down. It's like, no, nah, I gotta keep it down. We got sausage. People are like, I like sausage. Yeah. Party. And, and yeah. Black party um, <laughs> I exactly. like sausage. I like sausage. <laughs> um, <laughs> I like sausage. Come have a sausage. Come have a sausage. and <laughs> drink. Does bread okay. exist? Um, Is it bug yeah. bread? It's not great, but it's bug bread. It's, bread. It bug bre- it's probably, I would imagine it's got bone in it. A lot of like ground up bone meal in the bread. Can I have boneless bread, please? (laughs) We don't have that. Um, Is is there a vegan option? No. No, there's not. (laughs) Yeah. 
It's you almost... can get vegetables, you can get things like that, but it's expensive and a lot of it's imported from Arabia. Otherwise, um, if you want to be vegan, eat some mushrooms. That's what's going on. But, they're, um, but the mushrooms are fed off of corpses. Do they still count as vegan? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I don't know. The the mushrooms are like a hive mind, so they could be their own organism. It's so true. Can... I think mushrooms are probably like the third smartest thing on the planet behind, you know, octopi and uh, something else. I'm not going to say humans because it's definitely not us. <laughs> octopi. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, um, so this party kind of breaks out, and I will say it lasts like a good like, 24 hours. Like, I think they. Oh, nice. Um, as people kind of come and, like, you guys almost lose control of this party as people are coming and going off of these university grounds. Their students are getting involved. Um, the dockers are probably passed out, and the party still rages without them. Oh no, the dockers um, don't pass out. They're they're used to it. They're built for this. They're hard drinkers. But, yes. but like, there's probably there's probably like a boxing match going on somewhere, and people are like, yeah, and like uh, like oh, I'll fight anybody, and then like that guy gets knocked out instantly. You know. That kind of rowdiness, rough and tumble. Nice. Yeah. And I think this is as good a time as any. While this party's raging on, um, Lord Skurlock, um happens upon you guys. Uh, so he's walking towards the library. He sees this party. Um, he is polite and he bows and waves, maybe even shakes a few hands on his way, until he um, until he knocks on the side of like a like a door jam where you guys have this this sheet. <laughs> he knocks on the hole in the wall. <laughs> he comes in the side sheet entrance. Yeah. It's yep. the employee entrance. Yep. Well, I mean, it's one of those things where he sees people coming and going from there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and so he goes over and he makes his presence known with a knock. Um, he can see inside because the sheet's probably pulled to the side or whatever. But well, yeah, I uh, mean, people are in and out. Like, there's, there's, I would imagine there's, like, silly, like, as he goes and he knocks, like, a docker is, like, chasing, like, uh, uh, like, one of the, the weeping ladies, and, like, she's, like, running, and she's, like, hee hee and he's, like, chasing her, doing weird fingers at her, he's, like, come here, lady, I'm gonna get you, and then she's, like, hee-hee, it's, like, I got a, I got a, I got a wound, you can hurt, or you can help. You don't want to hurt the wounds. I got a wound that I needs dressing. <laughs> I got more hurt than you got skirt, lady. And he's chasing her. And it's silly. And they're giggling. And maybe, maybe they're going to smooch later. Who knows? And so with most of the main characters, I guess, at um, at a table, seeing Lord Scarlock, you know, be like, enter, enter, you know, what do we owe the pleasure? Yes, um, I want to check in. Is Albatross here? Ooh, is he? Before. Mm. Before I get into RP. <laughs> Did Albatross, Albatross stay for the party. Albatross took two um uh, two glasses of whatever the strongest thing they had there. Ooh, bad choice. And uh, he's now um, essentially doing uh, not recon. Well, I mean like recon. Like he's on top of the roof of of the academy and just kind of. Oh jeez. Okay. He's like so you getting say, drunk on a roof. That's a great you're, idea. You're drinking. You're drinking the the rocket fuel and you're on the roof. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so you would have seen um, Lord Skurlock approaching because, like, there's a little bit of commotion wherever he goes as the citizenry recognize him. You can tell that, uh, like, a lot of the people here really respect him or, like, want his favor or his attention. Um, and, like, a good politician, he can offer it in about eight second intervals before he moves on. <laughs> um, so you would have seen that he's coming. Um, and so I don't know if you join them or not, but Lord Skrullock uh, will see, um, he, yeah, you, you introduce yourself in a second here, but, um, you're not here right this second as Lord Skrullock, um, comes in and he offers a polite bow to, uh, to Bay and Myrie, um, Ludes if he's there. I think so. Says, I mean, I got a, I got a real quick question before we proceed, if it's cool. Um, I remember at one point, uh, if you miss a week with the character, they recover from possible, um, you know, titty damage. Yeah, it moves down one level. Okay, so he's at a level two titty hook. Yeah, yeah. Okay. get your titty okay. hook going. Curious. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, so he's in that in that case. Then Ludes is definitely there. He's he's hanging out with everybody. Yeah, yeah. So you went from like kind of like 
pretty injured and like maybe in Almost sawtooth's dead. care to um yeah. you're you're back and and you're able to tend to your own wounds or rely on the weeping ladies to dress them and stuff like that um so the three of you were there at the table albatross might be joining a second and he does um he says hello um i've come to uh just have a short discussion i didn't realize you were um you were hosting an event honestly we didn't know oh albatross i did not see you there but um allow me to take a moment i must apologize for our last meeting um i'll let my emotions get the best of me and frankly you deserve better than that Honestly, if you wanted me dead, I would have been gone. Hmm. I understand you. But, um, I've come because, um, I have a favor to ask of you. Could it be Uh, about your political race? As a matter of fact, it is. Um, it'll be coming up in the next few weeks. Um, you know, election day. First of all, I hope that you would um, consider voting for me um, as the Six Towers representative. I'll be the first uh, since the fall of the district. But um, I've inserted myself on the ballot. We only need 50% of the district to vote um, to instate me as a councillor. Um, which is where my favor. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, but... Uh... What you, what's your? I'm, <laughs> I've been drinking a little bit, so you gotta, you gotta forgive me. Uh, what, uh, what's your uh, stance on the uh, politics of, uh, you know? What are we great doing? Question. What are you, great yeah, question. Yeah, what are you doing? What, what the kind of? What do we tell people? I don't know. I don't know if we gonna vote. I can I vote? I don't. Do I vote? How's it? What are you gonna do for poor people? Huh? Um. Well, my my biggest concern again is actually for the the poorest people of our city. All right, um, yeah, you got me. You got my vote. Um, and and he'll <laughs> outline. He'll, he'll go into great detail. Um, just, basically ignoring Lutz, and he will he will talk a little bit about his his policy, I guess. And and his big thing is is that he wants six towers to become, um, more than what it is. Um. And specifically that um, he feels like um, that um, White Crown and Brightstone receive more than their fair share of um, of resources. Is and bullshit. That, I, yeah, you know, the people here yeah. too. You know, just because when it's not fancy, you know, some of the buildings have holes in them. And he gestures all around wildly. You know, I mean, it doesn't mean that there's not people. You know, I mean, sometimes you gotta, you know, it will help. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There are people who um, would not appreciate me being on the city council. Uh, Which is where my favor comes in. Um, I um, believe that you are aware of the violence that usually occurs on most election days. Um, And we flash back to anyone who's lived in Duskfall long enough. Um, The newspaper itself posts warnings uh, um, that you should bring a helmet and any weapons you need to defend yourself while you go in <laughs> um, oh, while you go okay. and vote um, so most of the city does not vote however um, I, I would hope that you might be interested or able to provide protection on election day for our citizens yeah. Yeah, ah, that's what I thought I got... you were going with that I, yeah, you know, and on top of that, I think if maybe I, there's a lot of people, I don't know how much time you spent right around here right now. There's a lot of people outside, you know, and they've, they've been drinking and they have a sausage. And maybe, you know, we go outside and we uh, oh, tell them you're here. You know, maybe, they, uh, maybe they'll vote for you, you know, it's, and, and we'll make sure that they're good. You know, it's a community and he, he does. The, he interlaces his fingers, and like his fingers are like fucking gross. I don't know if this has come up before, but they're really gross. Like he's got long, like brittle, like yellow fingernails, and like his fingers are like long, like Arsenio Hall's long ass fingers. Like they're like long. You, you know that's like believable. Quote from you. This like this whole game is you go. 
I don't know if this has come up before, but it's really <laughs> gross. <laughs> and, then, well, you know. and then you proceed to describe a new thing about Luke. Yeah. <laughs> like, you keep changing my mental image of him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's and they're gross. And like he's got like these really long and they're like these brittle, long, yellow, like hard, cracked fingernails. And he interlaces them and his knuckles are like super, super like raw, but his fingers are like real pale. And they're like these like raw like beaten like knuckles like like you look at him you're like that dude needs some lotion but he like interlaces his fingers and they've got some of them have warts and some of them have like open wounds and he's like you know i i forgot where i was going with this but my fingers are pretty fucking gross uh but you know come together you know and like we'll protect them and the whole the whole thing you know and they will vote for you because they like you and it, you know you go out there and you tell them and we'll back you up, and you know we'll uh, we'll make sure they're safe, and we'll vote, and we'll make you you know, we'll put you in there, and all you gotta do is just go out there. That's it. It's easy. Thank you for explaining that to me. I was unaware. <laughs> yeah, um... that's it. You know, <laughs> it's, I got you know I got ideas sometimes, but you know. It's also got uh, a lot of drinks in him. That's yeah. so I've been drinking, him. drinking, <laughs> and I got this. And he pulls up his shirt, and he exposes his like ripped off titty, and he's like, "I got a wound this big." It's. Alpha tries and injects. All right. So, anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. The look on Skrlock's face while Ludes is talking is one of like infinite patience. <laughs> um, like he is fully prepared to sit here and let Ludes talk at him for as long as it takes. Um, but he is also like almost imperceptibly relieved when Albatross intervenes. <laughs> um, and he says, "Yes. Um, my concern is is that." Um, there are two members um, in particular who have um, quietly uttered threats that they would um, prefer I not be on the council. One of them being Lord Strangford of the Leviathan Hunters. Um, the other is the head of the Ministry of Preservation. I um, understand their, um, their concerns, but um, the democratic process is important to us all would not be upset if something were to happen to either. And he looks right at Albatross when he says that. Mr. Kill People. <laughs> um, but most importantly, um, I would be willing to renegotiate the terms of our arrangement to uh, benefit you quite greatly. Um, if I find myself on the city council, perhaps even you might find yourself with a bit of uh, authority here. Maybe even get the university accredited. Mm -hmm. Quite um, enough of, course, of a humble establishment. Yes, well, um, with the diversion of resources to areas that I deem more appropriate, perhaps it wouldn't be so humble. Um, something to consider. Um, just know that on election day, there will certainly uh, be violence in the streets, as again, it's pretty common, but um, you keep our people safe, and um, I find that you will probably find that it'll benefit you greatly. And um, before he leaves, he just quickly goes to shake Bay's hand. And he um he puts like a small like note in your hand. Ooh, it's like how grandma gives you cash. <laughs> yeah. Um and he says, um enjoy your festivities. Um I wish I could stay longer, but um unfortunately I don't uh, partake. Well, we appreciate your patronage and then um we haven't we haven't paid Skirlock for um the, the sponsor fee, right? So no. maybe when they goes to pay him, um, he will then pocket over the, the note back into yeah. his hands. Yeah, absolutely. I um, have, oh. oh, go ahead. I, I have an idea of something I'd like to do. If you guys don't like it, let me know. 
But I think Ludes would want to um, ambush Skurlock when he tries to leave with, uh, like, like announcing him being there to the party. Okay. Um, I mean, the, the party members' goers did they see know him come in. There. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, like... Yeah. No, no, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. You guys are good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go, drunk man, go. So, so, yeah, so... Yeah, sorry, Dio? No, uh, say what he's going to do first, and that will dictate how Albatross is going to respond. <laughs> um, I, Basically, like, he's going to stumble out and be like, Hey, everybody, look, you got... Uh, Lord Skurlock's here. He's he's here. He's uh, and you know we could have done this without him. You know his party, uh, anything. You know all of this. And this guy, you guys, can can we can we can we can you give it up? Can you give it up for Lord Skurlock? You guys do some clapping. Yeah, and and the crowd, um, the, at least the ones that can hear you, um, they do. They 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 turn to Skurlock and they 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 clap for him. Um. They say thank you, thank you, good sir. Um, th and and then again, he, Lord Skurlock doesn't seem to flinch um, as he as he makes his way through the crowd, stopping and and he spends about eight seconds almost exactly with every <laughs> single person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 Who knows? <laughs> uh, he's so, done this like, before. <laughs> Ludes is gonna like like ramble on, and he's gonna say a bunch of bullshit that's not true about Skurlock. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "This food, you know, is he brought the food at the party? It was his. He would a party wouldn't happen if Skurlock didn't do it. Like, this guy, this guy, this Skurlock guy. Look at this guy. Look how tall he is. I've seen We're this guy. We're best friends. He's so <laughs> cool. Like this guy. If you don't, if you don't pick this guy, you know, when the time, you guys gotta vote for this guy, and we're gonna be there." And, and the Dockers? And the Dockers are like, Wah. He's like, Wah. the Dockers will be there. And the Dockers, if you if you vote for him, the Dockers will beat up anybody who tries to beat you up. And the Dockers are like, we'll beat him off. Like, no, 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 no. You know, and it starts to get all like, you know, <laughs> frantic and shit. And uh, he's going to try to like, you know, like stoke the flame in all okay. of these people at the party. Fair enough. Is Albatross going to react to this at all? Uh, he's laughing. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Um, go ahead like, and give me a roll there. Yeah, that feels to me like a sway roll. Uh, or you know what? Probably better than sway in this situation is consort. Um, but yeah. uh, but I'm gonna do sway <laughs> because that's the one that I've got one bonus. No worries. Uh, yeah. Um, this so it'll be the one. <laughs> Persuade, it's going to be controlled, and I'm going to say it's for limited effect because there is a party going on, only half the people can even hear you. Lord Skurlock is correcting people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got a three. <laughs> okay. You're just a um, crazy drunk. I get so, yeah. punched in the face. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, so you can press on by seizing a risky opportunity, or you can withdraw. What does that mean? What does that mean? I've never heard um, of this before. Okay, so um, this is kind of what happens when you do control for limited. Um, you falter, so like the the momentum of it it you seems to really o only impact <laughs> um, um, you who's trying to get it going, and the dockers who are already on your side. Everyone else is kind of like this guy's fucking hammered, and oh yeah, pukes. <laughs> yeah, Lord Skrillock is is trying to get further and distance himself from you, but if you were to press on. I would increase the risk to risky. And you could try again. Okay, okay. Um Yeah, boot and rally. Let's go. Uh and I'm gonna push. Why not? There we go. Push for the extra die. Push for the extra die. There we go. I'll give you a devil spark. <laughs> yeah, hit me, baby. You know Lord Skurlock will have a problem with loot specifically. <laughs> yes, and I get an extra die? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Here we go. All right. Sixer, baby! Ooh. You do it. Um, I draw attention to him. I draw attention to him, and I say something that he doesn't want said. Um, I, you know what? I think Luke says something about him being able to do magic. 
that is exactly what I was going to suggest. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a moment where he stops in his tracks and he kind of looks at Lutz. Um, the person who he's shaking the hand of at the time just feels him like start to crush their hand. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, yeah, there's a moment where he's like starts to crush this person. And the, the guy's like, "Oh my god, what the?" Uh. I like, love it. Oh, I love I'm it. so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. Um, you know what? Enjoy the rest of your party. And he slips him a coin, like a couple of silver. <laughs> yeah. um, go get, go get that looked at. <laughs> I got. There's. I, I haven't watched basically any of it, but there's a show called Boardwalk Empire, and it's got like, uh, uh, you know, um, Steve um, Buscemi. Steve Buscemi, thank you. I saw like part of one episode one time where like it's just uh, it's just a scene where Steve Buscemi's like sitting on this bed next to like a child, and the child's like upset, and Steve Buscemi just hands him a wad of cash and then walks away. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't. I, that's that's what that show is in my mind. It's just Steve Buscemi being like, eh, "Here's a wad of cash," and walking away. I mentioned that's what happens. Like, oh, sorry about your hand. Here's a wad of cash. <laughs> he walks away. Yeah. Um. um but yes, um, the the people themselves, like the party, kind of picks up in full swing. Um, their their people are cheering and they're shouting the praises. A, a lot of them are drunk, but um, yeah, it does seem to um, to have some impact on the crowd. Uh, go ahead, there, Albatross or Deal. Uh, hearing that. Uh, so, so wait, wait, now, <laughs> so. He crushes the guy's hand, gives him the coin, and now he's leaving. Yeah, he was already leaving. Okay, like like, like he's gone now. Um, I mean, if you, he's talking to a lot more. of people. It'll yeah. take him like a minute to get out for sure. Like, if you want to talk to him, you can you can catch up to him, no problem. Okay, no, if if it's not escalating in any way, then yeah, no, Albatross is just gonna. He's gonna be really upset with uh, with him uh, with Ludes, but that's fair. That's the the other part of the Devil's Bark, and everyone hates Ludes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh. Ludes is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's just there's something I don't like. I, I I don't know, listeners, if you whether or not uh, you know this, um, Dio and I have been in real life. We've been friends for like I don't know, man. It's been like twelve years or something like that. It's been a long ass time. Me and Dio, out of all of the people that I do any kind of gaming stuff with, like, Dio is probably, like, one of my best friends. All of my characters and Dio's character are at odds. Like, they, <laughs> like none of them get along. But in real life, like, I would, I would, I maybe, I might take a bullet for Dio. It's my dude. But I my characters sure. hate him. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Comfortable enough to pretend to hate each other. Yeah, yeah. It's just like I, like I know I'm good with it. I'm sure Dio's good with it. I want to make sure the listeners are aware. Like, <laughs> it's all for fun. It's all fun. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Dio. But yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that moment goes, and and uh, and mechanically, um, it is going to increase the amount of turnout for the um, election yeah. day. Fuck yeah, Whether dude, you guys are there to protect them or not. Um, but the election day is, 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 is weeks ahead. We'll say it's about three or four weeks. Um, we'll say it's a month from now. Well, a month our time. It's less than a month in, in Duskfall time. Okay. There's only okay. six months in the year. Yeah. Um, but yes, um, you have a bit of time to prepare um, to deal with that. Decide if you're going to deal with that. Um, they, if you look at the, the note that he gave you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's it say? What's it say? It's a list of five names with addresses. You recognize, um, Strangford. Um, and I will have the name for you, but I, after the break, but I don't have it currently. It's also the name of the, um, person who, um, is in charge of the Ministry of Preservation. So um, you also work. see, um, you also see, um, a few names listed as, um, um, they would be like people, like important people in the Leviathan Hunters and at the Ministry of Preservation and a single name of a banker. That's the, that guy is the werewolf. 
<laughs> yeah. You know, there's two banks in in um in in the city. One of them is in Brightstone, and the other one is in White Crown. This is the one for Brightstone. Where's the? We're missing one piece of this dude. We got the eye. We got the hand. Seriously, missing the, the heart. heart. Heart's the heart. in the rich town. It's in White Crown, yeah. It's in White what? Crown at the Ministry of Preservation. All right, cool. That's that's what I thought. Maybe just wanted to double check. No worries. Um, but yes, um, and you guys will subtract two coin. Um, if you want, I can just pull it from the from the standing amount. Yeah, yeah. So take it out of your vault. Shall leave it in the vault, and I'll take it out of your loose coin. There you go. Um, yeah, so you guys have paid him. You had an interaction with him. He's given you um, a task. Whether you choose to take it or not is up to you. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're in downtime, guys. Anything else you'd like to do in this moment or in a moment in the near future? We can always flip back and forth between this moment and in the future as well. Um... So, so the girl who was still following me, at some point, someone gave her like a drink. So she's just awkwardly holding it. Now she doesn't, she's not drinking. So she just got shoved at her. She's just holding it out. Um, so now there's like this calm moment of, well, co- relatively calm because it's a party. Um, she'll, she'll awkwardly kind of try to like go up to him, be like, um, well, uh, I know we haven't really uh, talked a lot. I know because, like, I mean, when I first got here, it was like really busy and things seemed to be really disarray. So, I mean, I've I, I've never really gotten a chance uh, to talk. <laughs> Leave me alone, Adam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, like, your character, your character keeps winking at me. <laughs> it's so weird. I love it. It's so cool. It's so cool. What a time to be alive. You. I'm talking to a cartoon. It's so fucking cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. And just double checking. You're talking to Bay. Bay, talking to Bay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's um, yeah. We're happy to have you on. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> when we last talked, it was Shiova, but I take it I'm not talking to Shiova? Oh, no, no. I, she hasn't come back yet tonight. Hmm. I have so well, many questions. Is, uh... As you know, this is, uh, a school. We are a university of sorts, and so I guess I can say would probably do your best if, um, yeah, you could find a way to work here in your off time as well as on time so you know been if you like to do lessons or and he's just trying to you know i guess come up with small talk to someone who you know didn't really <laughs> present very much and is just kind of sitting there awkwardly so he just kind of describes the curriculum a little bit you know we do um we do a quad mester and um you know, Vey, I guess we'll spend a bit of time. And I, I think, like, seeing the thread not really move much, um, Vey will start kind of monologuing a little bit in this case. And he's like, you know, <laughs> I I go through and I, I, I mostly focus on accounting uh, and, and going through that way. You know, there's also uh, some amount of maths that we go through, a little bit into some stats. But, you know, we keep uh, we keep it mostly light on the the stem side of things and focus mostly in on uh ethics for for the semesters we've had so far it's uh it's a little rocky at the moment i would love for ludes to stumble in and be like hey look i got some questions i got questions for you so you're eh? so you're like the person what I, right yes, you're I'm a yeah person. and then and then there's a ghost that gets in, gets in you yeah, so yes. if you if you if you get drunk, right, and the ghost is in you, is the ghost drunk, or is it just I, you? I don't know. You haven't really drunk. Does she? Drink. If she's in you, do you? And you're drinking. 
Is she sober? Is it, you're drunk? Or are you just in the back and you're like, Whoa? I mean, it's kind of, I know what I do is kind of illegal to have a ghost in me, so we haven't is... really tried getting drunk. You know, I don't worry, but you know, the laws, it's just, it's like a, like a, like suggestions, you know? As long as you're not doing something that's gonna get you caught by, you know, little blue coats, you'll be okay. And honestly, like, nobody here is gonna really, I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna talk about what you're doing when you're doing your thing. But I got questions, okay? So, oh. what the, like, is it, it, is it like being asleep, you know? Is it relaxing? Well, is uh, somebody else in there? I, I mean, I'm aware of what goes on when, when she's in control. Like, we're, we both Is it, like, comfortable? It. Or are you, like, kind of getting squished? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a living, I guess. <laughs> this is like a ghost joke. I like it. I like it. I, what kind I of imagine like? as this is happening, she's moving more and more into a corner while Luke keeps <laughs> walking up. Pressing her further and further into the corner for more, sure. More like just pressed in. Yeah, it gets to the point where like, he's like, wait. Constant looking at Vay like, help, help, help. He gets too, too <laughs> close. He gets too close to the point where like you can like you can feel him breathing on you and like his breath is not good. Uh, and you see, like, just like you're, you're just all you can see when he's talking to you. It like you can't look away from like these wooden and gold teeth as he's talking to you, and like that's like all you can think about is just like the wooden and gold teeth. And he's like, as you, and you just see like wooden and gold teeth and just like flashing in your vision. That's it. All right, and that goes on for like way too long. And, well, and it, it goes on. Yeah, it goes on for too long. Vay's gonna kind of go in and um, feeling a little sorry for her, just kinda <laughs> take Ludes and spin him like 180 while going like, you know, I heard um, actually Danny's got he's, he was talking about whispers. You know, not what? ten minutes okay. ago. All and... right, you know what? I I gotta talk to. I haven't talked to that guy. I'm gonna got. I gotta go talk to that guy. I got some <laughs> questions for him too. All right. So you know you you. You wait here, and he points at Vay. He's like, I gotta talk to you about that. Like, uh, you know, I'll be back. Don't worry. If I'm not back in 30 minutes, call the blue coats. Okay. <laughs> and then he wanders away. And sure enough, as you go to track down Daniel, you see him get on like that rolling ladder. And he's like, it's ska he's skating it. <laughs> he's just chasing, he's just chasing it as he's sliding away. <laughs> and that goes on. That's that's happening in the background of the rest of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> she looks pitifully very grateful over at page. Thank you. That's a lot of questions. I'll give you some time alone, and and uh, he's gonna wander off. Oh, right, go ahead. See you Ace. again. <laughs> Oh, it's been nice fun. knowing someone here. I think she's in love. She's like, I almost made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he did, he did. <laughs> Guys, I gotta point out real quick. I um, love this. I love <laughs> this. I love this game. I love playing with you guys. This has been awesome. Yes, I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, all right, let's get into some mechanical data. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point to someone. I'm gonna point at Dio. What does Albatross do um, during, after the party that would mechanically like like a downtime action? Mm. May actually be doing okay for stress. Yeah. That is what trauma does <laughs> at yeah. first. Makes everything better. <laughs> However, you will gain too stress if you don't indulge your vice. And that's in fact what he wants to do. He would have left the party early. Very early, like right after Lord Sherlock left. Okay. Um, and you're going to indulge your vice? Um how much stress do you get if you overindulge? I'm going to need uh, to you clear uh, stress. I'm going you to need to hunt for a demon. Something bad happens. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, where are you going, Dio? I Albatross is definitely going to need to hunt for a demon. Because he cannot yes. indulge in his stress until he has, he has the meat. Sorry, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your Arby's. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next next quest, we get turf that is Arby's. 
Okay. <laughs> is Arby's canonic in, in like it's a, uh, it's a demon we'll Arby's? Make Arby's, you know, Arby's. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, I will <laughs> say, um, your 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 thing is no longer tapped, and so this has changed a little bit because you're working outside of the group, and less do you want to go to them right now. You know what? Too much time has passed then. Yeah, he'll confront them. Okay. Um, You go and you find um your man in Night Market, the one that had requested that you perform the hunt. Um, You see that he does not look well. Kind of similar to you. Um, He's got those hives. He's scratching his arms. Wait, what? Um... Like, but back before he ate, um, Dio described Albatross was starting to break out into hives and, and oh. having withdrawal symptoms. Oh. Um, the, this man is kind of going through something similar and he sees you. Um, I don't know if I've described him before. He's a Tykerosi man. Um, <clears throat> very, very thin. Um, like almost impossibly thin, but his arms extend well past his knees. Um, other than that, he looks completely human. Um, and he sees you as he's scratching his arm, and he says, uh, So you've returned. Do you have good news? Do not. Mm. We were relying on you um, to provide uh, for this latest hunt. Um, is there an issue? You don't seem to be as affected as the rest of us. There was a complication. Okay. And what are you going to do about it? It, it, it is your turn to provide for the ritual. He... I don't want to... It's fair. So, uh, if I could just have a description of like these characters, like everybody who 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 has been partaking in this ritual, uh, um, besides all... you, mm-hmm. there's five of them. Um, only one of them has spoken like in character, but you've probably spoken to them all. Mm-hmm. Um, they are not all military or spies. A lot of them are immigrants from Tycharos, um that have legitimate jobs and as like. Um, as traders or lawyers or um, as laborers um, but they are all people who indulge in, in the old ways of uh, Tykerosi people um, they you have probably known them like not all of them for the same amount of time but you've been a part of this group um, as people kind of ebb and flow people live and die um, um, you like throughout the years so the man you're speaking to is, has been there as long as you have been, which is maybe three or four months it took you to find someone after you actually moved into Dustfall. <clears throat> um, but uh, yeah, like um, they're nondescript Taikorosi people because like realistically I just don't want to make up six more NPCs right now. <laughs> um, but you have known them for a very long time, at least some of them. Um, the newest member maybe joined up a year ago. Okay. Albatross wouldn't hate them, per se. No, he would hate, um, the, he would, he would hate the circumstance that he's in now. So, uh, is, hmm. Okay, I think I know what he's going to say. Okay. He would, um, 
he would take him and um uh and say he, he would basically gesture to him to, to speak somewhere private um yeah yeah he he um he brings you into his home um you've maybe been there once or twice before um it's like a, a flat um kind of like on the first floor of this um this building in it market um he sits you down um you see that his home is pretty humble um it's not like he's not a very wealthy man by any means Uh, what seems to be the issue? What do you need to talk about? It's the demon that I hunt. Did you... Did you forgo the ritual um, with the rest of us? It was something different about this one. It demons here are not known, friend. And when I had found this flesh, when I had taken its life, when the flesh is in hand, it always calls us it always calls to us but this one was different it did not call it demanded this does not I'm, I'm glad that you've made it out alive but um this does not help our kin our kind our group it does not please me either you must rectify this. That's why I come to you. I need to seek another. I must make sure that you all are well. Then let it be done. We will go now. I will run it the front. I will run the front line. Yeah. Um. And so... Um, he gathers um, most of the group. There's about four of them and yourself. Um, you guys actually have to leave the city. Um, and so you go into the Lost District. It takes some time to get there. Um, but you... Um, he knows a path that's pretty um, covert. Um, it's like a smuggling route. Um, and he takes you into there and we'll get you to roll your indulge bites. I had never seen the Lost Drifter. And then I'm like, oh, let me take a look. And I happen to pull the map out before this session. And it's right there up in the corner. Yep, yep it's up there. <laughs> yep. And uh, for indulge vice, uh, it's going to be. Let's see. Um, it's your lowest stat. Um, so that would be resolve one um yeah so if you click the dice on the side and you go to um indulge vice set your stress which is two and you're gonna roll one die okay can't push it guy oh, you can't push a, a resistance roll okay these are always fun let's say Stressed of this. Nice, you overindulge. Oh, no, not nice. I mean, Bow. it was it was bound to happen. Yeah, was it too? Um, <laughs> hmm. yeah, wouldn't want to be you. All right, deal. I'm gonna give you a choice. Albatross can be lost as he engages in some sort of epic battle with a demon and is not able to return until after the next score. Or you can attract trouble, which means I will roll an additional entanglement. Actually, no, sorry, I will select an additional entanglement. Mm. I 
how creative are you feeling right now? Do you have a backup <laughs> character? <laughs> that is the uh, question. <laughs> well, I do not. But... Well, so for the purposes of downtime, this could have happened after the other stuff you do during downtime. So you would ha still be able to play as Albatross for the rest of this, and we'll just say that this happened like a week later. I mean, yeah. It, it, it just, um, uh, hmm. for me, I think just because of how on the, uh, on the, on the wire it is, uh, he wouldn't want this problem to come back. Okay. So you're, are you picking loss then? Uh, so so just to, just to kind of think about the consequence here it's either the demon or it's lord skurlock right no no okay. um it is either your character is lost for a week and we'll describe what happens during that time yeah i'm i'm telling you that it'll be involved with the hunt um because that makes sense or i will choose um um an entanglement You don't get to know what that bet is. <laughs> I'm gonna put a time limit on it. I'm gonna count down from five. Uh oh, choose where are you? I'll do the entanglement. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is okay. is that an entanglement for Albatross or an entanglement for the group? Yes. Oh, damn. <laughs> what did you do? Nice ah. answer. <laughs> okay. Um, I know what it is. Um, okay. So, um, you successfully managed to hunt, um, like a, like a small demon. It kind of looks like a pile of dogs. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with you? Why is that? Why is that what you think of? All right. Sorry. Go on. Pardon me. Excuse That's me. That's okay. I'm just <laughs> off the cuff in my head, you know? Like, what's what's going on in my imagination right now? It's a, it's, pile, it's a pile of dogs. Of like, what the yes. fuck? <laughs> like yeah. a weird protruding um, Cerberus, or...? Yeah, kind of. Except it's got, like... Like, it's kind of like if, if a dog was standing, but then it had, like, a dog tumor growing out of it, like, eight times over. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? 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 All right, sorry. Sorry. It's pretty okay. Um, one of them, yeah, one of them has to be a dog butt, <laughs> like protruding out, like just the back end, just kind of sticking out, like in a really, like, a, like on the side of it. Yeah, yeah, and and that one has a human face for no reason. The rest of them <laughs> just look like dogs. Um, but yes, um, so you um, you do manage to hunt this, and you guys perform the ritual in the lost district. Um, the the issue that happens um or the entanglement that i select is arrest arrested oh fuck and so we will look at what that is i'll show you uh show the players an inspector. Jail. an inspector presents a case file of evidence to a magistrate to begin prosecution of your crew Oh. The blue coats will send a detail to arrest you, a gang of at least equal in scale to your wanted level. Pay them off with coin equal to your wanted level plus three. Oh. Hand someone over for arrest. This will clear your heat and reset your wanted level, or try to Ooh. evade capture. And Ooh. so, oh. you will have some time to think about that while we go through everyone else's downtime. Um, Adam, one of your characters yeah. is gonna gotta have a downtime activity planned. I mean, I think the 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 drinking for for loot is obviously uh, falls into his stupor vice. You mean Marv? I was saying loot, but um, because like loot has a lot. Well, both of them have the same amount of the exact same amount of stress. Brutal. Um. Oh. Oh, um, yeah. Both were stressed the fuck out. Oh, and I, would actually... I didn't realize I need to give him a, a point in something because his prowess is filled up. 
You're gonna have Lude's and Marv just drinking together. <laughs> yeah, could very well be. Um, I will say that Lude's, uh, like, I'm, I'm gonna be nice um, and point out that Lude's would actually have zero stress. Ooh, he's been high know. out of his mind while he's hanging out with Sawtooth. It's true. So I'll get rid of that. Nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then yeah, Marv then is uh, he's drinking it up. So he's gonna he's gonna get drunk and he's gonna he's gonna fight somebody. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're 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 fighting there. Um, he's gonna fight a couple of somebodies one at a time. Yeah. He's gonna fight a couple of dudes and like somebody's gonna punch him, and like regardless of you know somebody hits him and like knocks one of his teeth out. He's like, oh, 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 I haven't been hit like that in years. Let's go. And he's gonna beat the shit out of that guy. He's gonna be oh one tooth less than he was yesterday. So let's do this. So what I hit the um, the dice over here, and this is a indulge vice, and he is at one, two, three, four, five, six stress. Yeah. The and sweet spot. For Marv, his lowest is zero dice in insight. Yeah. So you're gonna be rolling zero dice. Here we go. Let's get. Uh, it's two. He loses yeah. two stress. <laughs> um, yeah, you're fighting these two guys, and um, they're just not good. They're, they're they're just not as good of fighters as you. You knock them out like almost immediately. Um, so you like you know like you get to feel like a man or whatever, but um, it doesn't do it. That's not what he's looking for, man. That's not what he wants. You want to get hit in the head. You want to get hit in the head. He, what he wants is he wants that. So there's a special thing for Marv. I don't know if this happens to everybody, but like if he gets hit hard enough, just right, something some switch flips in his brain and like everything shuts off. Like he doesn't black out, but everything shuts off and he goes into this like blind kind of like f like rage, like frenzy thing where um like all of his troubles just disappear and like his consciousness is gone and it's away and it's just meat is all that's left meat and bone and gristle and just impact 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 he doesn't get there he doesn't get there this dude hits him in the face and he's like that's all you got this is nothing like i get you you hit like a fucking child i've been punched harder than this my children i had one kid that i picked up for fun and they punched me in the face four times and it hurt worse than this this is nothing i'm gonna punch you in the face and and it's not it's not for fun i'm punching you in the face because i need to punish you for being such a piece of crap and he bam knocks the dude out and he's like that is crap i'm not i'm not fulfilled i'm bored this is boring to me and then bam punches the other dude. He's like this is i you know what this makes me sad i'm gonna i'm i don't maybe i don't want to fight anybody ever again after this 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 is shameful i'm gonna go sit down I'm going to sit down and I'm going to eat some of these sausages. <laughs> I'm going to dip them in this here sauce. I don't know what it is, but it tastes great. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. But dip it and enjoy. And that's what he does with his two stress. All right, that's it. Yes, and and what you're describing is called whiting out. It Ooh, is a... okay. Is it for like white guys? No, it's um. Okay. so it, it's happened to me exactly one time. If oh If you get hit, um, there's kind of two reactions you can have that involve you not really understanding what happens next. One of them is okay. whiting out. The other one is writing out. Writing okay. out is when people die. Whiting out is when you don't remember what happens for like the next 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it is like a thing that like um, humans can do. Okay. In the real world. Try it at uh, home, kids. <laughs> Try it at home. No, don't. It's a problem. It's a real problem. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I just wanted to put that out there. It's like an episode of Jeopardy. What is whiting out? It's what he just described. They. Or um, Ethan. I'll say Ethan because you have multiple characters now. What do you have to I do? Um, it's Yeah, I do. And actually, um, I think I want to go and do a turn with Drillbit. So... Um, I mean, first off, just quick comment on the party is I just at some point I know that there was this situation where Drillbit was in, you know, maybe maybe even like standing on the table while all of these doctors are around and he's just kind of describing about how he like, you know, I went and I reached out 
and I took those fucking dogs and I put them down <laughs> and just kind of talking about like, you know, just that, that group of people that absolutely hate dogs that time um, and uh, bragging in onto to those excerpts. So, um, yeah, that's all great fun. Um, but then, yeah, uh, after that, as a uh, drop it, I'm going to go and I'm going to finish or I'm going to possible well, i guess possibly finish i want to try to do the um the power, power set. base so yeah. power base which um so last session tried to go through and start to construct a connection to the electroplasm is it electroplasm the electro field um uh... it's yeah it, it's electroplasmic energy though um the lightning towers are powered by leviathan blood specifically, which creates like a surplus of electroplasmic energy. Leviathan blood is just the blood of demons. Right. Um, yeah, so we're going to keep on pushing it on that clock. So I'm going to, I guess, um, do you want me to just start to describe it or do you want me to roll and then talk through it, I guess? Um, start to describe it so that we know what we're rolling. Yeah, um, so um, having, you know, put in the initial start of the, um, the conductor relay and those things, um, what Drillbit is going to do now is to uh, configure the uh, the actual batteries within it. And I've already kind of looked at it. I'm going to try to do it in a tune. And so what that means is he's going to be uh, going in there and making sure that all of the capacitors and the, the the relays are set up in a right way that um you know there's actually it's able to just draw the power in and um you know have that connection to to other buildings and that's kind of i don't know some of the complexities there as to why it's hard for people to just go and just quote unquote steal power <laughs> oh absolutely it's also incredibly illegal but um yeah um <laughs> Go ahead and give me that tune roll. Um, it's a downtime action, so it's not risky. Um, risk and effect don't come into play. Um, it's just how much of the clock you fill in. How okay. how good is this? Um, so nice. you manage. You you actually do manage to get some some good work done. You fill in two segments. You had three remaining. Um. You could spend a coin right now to bump that up and complete the project. Irie would love to help with this project at any point. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, it's only a six segment clock and he has five out of six. Okay. So, so without spending an extra downtime, um, you, like basically you can spend one okay. coin now to complete it or you can spend another downtime and whoever does it will just have it done. So it's whether or not you want to spend the coin. I was really hoping to get all three ticks with that. Oh, that's so hard to roll that. meta the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, are you spending that coin? Myri probably. says that she would be willing to help out, so she would definitely be able to probably get the last of it. I also will pitch that narratively, I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, like a ton of sense. In, yeah. it's, in hindsight, I wish there would have been an extra beat, and so we could have actually thrown that in because I think that would have been a really great bonding moment of, of Drillbit and Myri going in and building this thing. Yeah. Why, well, okay, how about this? Myri, you yeah. see this robot man um, maybe in the aftermath of the party, maybe at the end of the party while people are still reveling. You see him trying to put together some sort of like a uh, power relay. Um, are you gonna are you gonna assist them? Will you spend your downtime action to fill up this clock? Hell yeah! All right. <laughs> uh, I, I love I love the little cartoon characters. Like, yes. Yeah. No worries, Mary. <laughs> so, <laughs> Myri, you go and you um you put your hand on uh, on Drillbit's sh sh shoulder as he's attuning and like using his like ghostly powers and reaching out to do this work. Um. And um, it doesn't matter what you roll, you will succeed. So just go ahead and describe how you help. She's going to, like, see him doing this, having had no prior knowledge of this, now realizing there's a giant-ass battery in their library. She's going to walk over, put her hand on him. She's like, this whole time, 
you've been in here working on this and you didn't fucking tell me any of this was going on. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Move oh, that capacitor God. over there right this instant. You're doing it wrong. Let me let me at this thing. Oh my God. She ties back the hair. And it, yeah. What's left of uh, it? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the half tie back, but uh, she ties yeah. back. It's it's just it's just like a little bit of bangs that, and there's like nothing on top. <laughs> just ties back the bangs behind your head. <laughs> Seeing that Myri um is, is is going in and is actually like starting to take out some of the the capacitors and and kind of switch it up. Um, Drobit is going to kind of step aside while helping. Um, but then not step away and actually kind of go in because it is something that's very interesting to him. It's like, oh, I, I, I thought that was negative. Uh, that makes much more sense. Yes, yes. Okay. It's having um, a complete total waste of like runoff energy coming through here. Honestly. That would be much <laughs> more <slam>. efficient. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and as um, Myri and Drillbit um, bond over their love of electricity. Um, <laughs> to put it like in the worst terms possible um we will take a short break here um my name is aaron and i love rc cola <laughs> 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 uh, but yes um i'm gonna go drink some rc cola i actually do have rc cola today oh. so there you go. nice but it's but it's in a bottle i, yeah, I got a bottle like of the, rc oh. cola you had two liters do you guys have leaders up there we do have leaders up okay. here. In fact, we right. use leaders more often than you do. <laughs> That's right. We use them to measure soda. Ounces confuse the heck out of me. Dude, how about how about ounces, right? Because they're liquid and weight. Oh, yeah. Listen. Volume Listen. and and weight? Well, that makes no sense. It, it, it eight kind of them of does, but... Eight of them? 16? No one knows. How many Stupid. ounces in the kilo? 28? Or it's... No one knows. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows. Oh, it's stupid. It's stupid. No one knows. Every drug dealer in the world prior to like the legalization of marijuana knew the answer to that question. <laughs> well, that. I don't. Um, so that's what you know about me. I don't sell drugs. Fair enough. All right. Well, I, everyone, yeah. we're going to take a short five to 10 minute break here. We'll see you all soon. Enjoy your lives. Nice. And we're on break. Okay. okay. So, real quick, I need to, I just learned something I need to share with you guys. They've renamed the next Avengers movies. What? It is no longer going to be Kang. It is going to be Doctor Doom. Doomsday is what I believe they're calling it. And officially, the guy that's going to be playing Doctor Doom, Robert Downey Jr. No. Boom! Yeah! So, that's only okay if he never takes his mask off. Which he <laughs> it's totally, like... But he will. I, I mean, so, but, like, yeah. but like Doom's face, but, it, like it doesn't fucking well, matter. Yeah. But it well, yeah. But also, like, if you think about, it, like, I, I'm guessing because they, you know, with King, uh, Iron Lad was a variant, and like they could they could definitely work it in where Tony Stark in some alternate universe is Doctor Doom, and like yeah. it totally makes it. And like, dude, fuck yeah. I am super into it. I didn't see. Did anybody see Wolverine and uh, Deadpool? I I no. need to watch it. I'm planning on setting some time aside. I'm hoping I'm hoping to see it before Gen Con. I'm hoping to like work yeah. something out with my mother-in-law where she can watch Nora and Katie and I can go see it. But like, uh, I'm I'm fucking pumped about Marvel movies again for the first time in a long time because like the <laughs> yes. last the last batch of them has been kind of kind of. Um, so I yeah. have not watched um, any of the Avengers movies. Um, oh, you're missing since... out, my dude. Um, the one before Endgame, and I also haven't seen Civil War. Yeah, the first. Um, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I've only seen the first. You guys two. are missing out. Civil War is phenomenal. And no, yes. no, no. Here's the thing, though, is like I just I have a problem with like the way they make movies. Like it just it bugs me, and like I don't <laughs> like it. I like I will say this. I liked Ant Man more than I liked I Avengers: Age of Ultron. Oh, same. Will, well, yes, I will agree with you. I, I love Damien. Ant Man was fun. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was so cool. But yeah, I, no, um, that's where I'm at. But I also have to pee, and I yeah. will. I will go. I, I will talk about these movies for a month. So, <laughs> all right. Um, I'll be back. I'm gonna eat some more of these spicy veggie straws. They're they're amazing, okay. amazing. Product of the month.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back and better than ladies. ever. Yeah. Why is it all sexy ladies? Because that's what the world <laughs> <Sorry>. wants. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the break, two things happened to me. One, I grabbed a beer. I grabbed nice. a Puppers Golden Lager, the official beer of Letterkenny, the television show. Okay. Um, which right. I had already previously purchased um, because that would be wild. Previously. <laughs> previously yeah um yes and then the other one is is i looked up ram ranch because i wanted to like provide some information on it i, I was gonna read the lyrics but the, they say the word cock too much and so like i feel like that would just be bad <laughs> um and so um but what i did find out is that um there is actually 220 sequels to ram ranch and he's been releasing new versions of Ram Ranch since like 2000 and like 11. And the latest one dropped in 2020. So I think he's done with the Ram Ranch for now. So but, I hate to be crass, but like, is it gay porn? It's it, I, like all the album art <laughs> makes it look like that. And so it, is it? It's not, it's not gay porn. It's a song. Like, first of all, it's art. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> are you t now? Are you saying the gay porn can't be art? <laughs> I'm saying that most gay porn is not art, but some of that's a safe answer. All right. <laughs> Good answer. Um, the very first line of Ram Ranch is 18 naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. And it just gets worse from there <laughs> <laughs> like like to the point where like if this was like not an r-rated show i would just like be taken off the air but like i also just don't want to subject our listeners to this unless they want to go and look up ram ranch themselves <laughs> which i, I highly I recommend it's the best song ever written um yeah I doubt it. Bob, <laughs> I, it's way better than anything bob dylan ever did i, I partially regret my search <laughs> No yeah, you're gonna, your your algorithm's gonna be all fucked up now. Nothing but Ram Ranch now. Oh boy. Yes, you're gonna get you're gonna get all kinds of weird ads when you go onto the internet. All kinds of weird ra uh, ads for ranch dressing. Cowboys yep. with yeah. Cowboys. Feta cheese and ranch dressing. That's all it's gonna be. <laughs> ranch dressing, extra creamy. Yep. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Ugh. As long as it's not blue cheese. <laughs> Oh, gro I don't know which is grosser. Extra creamy ranch or blue cheese? Aaron, change the subject. Reasons. Aaron, Aaron, change the subject. <laughs> change the subject. Help me. Um, speaking of schmegma. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go Santorum. to... Um, Santorum's we'll, the word you want. We'll, we'll go to Adam. Adam, what are you, what's your character up to? Oh, man. You have a second I, downtime action there. After we I hit this do. lovely bonding um, moment between... Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's take a quick peek here. Um, I've got uh, nothing with that guy. Uh, we got this guy. Um, not much with that guy. So I guess it's gonna be Ludes. Ludes is gonna uh, uh nothing really great there either. Uh, I in guess heart Ludes is gonna hang out. What? In your heart of hearts, what do you want to have happen next? What do I? It doesn't matter. What's going to happen next is that Lutz is going to go to the doctor. He's going to oh. hang out with Sawtooth some more. Okay. Uh, he's got yeah. it. You you uh you march into Sawtooth's office and and he's got um a patient on the table. Um, but he um almost like and you can tell he's he's like well into the ether. Um, the second the door opens, he just kind of drops everything and looks at you with the wide eyes and he's like. Oh, what can I do you for there? Uh, you know, you, the last time you were working on my titty, and like it's still all fucked up. I mean, look at this. Look at this. And he like lifts up his shirt, and there's way like the. I know I keep talking about how he's got a lot of nipples, but there's way more. Way more. There's so many. Like every time his shirt comes up, there's like a D12 more nipples. And it, there's so many of them. And like the, the amount, the way that they're all like Rugos, it's, it's gotten to the point where they're like, it, they almost look like scabs, but like brown at this point, but with like nipples on them. It's real weird. But like his whole titty is, uh, is it, you know, got hooked off of there. And now it's like one giant patch of bark. 
and it and he's like he's like I move it makes this crinkling noise and it bleeds and like he like rolls his shoulder around and it's like it sounds like someone's cracking branches off of a tree and then like a bunch of blood just starts to seep out between like the the ridges of this thing he's like I, I need you know I need something some more help on this thing it's uh it hurts <laughs> it really fucking hurts it smells like pine I also rolled 12 d12s it's 109 <laughs> nipples that's a lot no but not enough don't worry adam you have so many more episodes to tell us about more nipples we're starting at 109. <laughs> you know what this means guys that's a, good a lot of kids that's a good jumping off point 109. <laughs> listeners we'll we keep track thousands. keep track 109. nipples yeah. are proportional to the amount of litters your animal can birth <laughs> like oh, how your, your avatar <laughs> winked when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But no, he uh, you know, he doesn't litter. He cares about this environment. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do I roll for healing? Um, actually, I roll, or well, you can roll it if you want. It's a fortune roll. Um, okay, let's get fortunate with two die. Okay. Two dice, fortune roll. Here we go. Oh, sixer. There you go. Um, so that's going to be three segments on the clock. Which is great because with that recent upgrade that I took, that means that he goes down to level one of being hooked in the titty. Oh. Oh. There you go. Um, so. Oh, and you take an additional die on healing treatment rolls. Um, I do. So, oh. So roll one more die. Oh. If it comes up as a six, then um, it's a critical, and you'll bleed okay. over into the next one. I don't want to bleed anymore. It is a oh. six. What the fuck are the odds? Probably one in six, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Do yeah. I get another pit uh, or another uh, segment? Smegment? Yep. You get, so you're halfway um, to filling nice. up and clearing the level one harm. Um, what this looks like is um, he brings you over to the table. Um, and you see that there's like a man covered in leeches, just kind of like okay. lying there. Um, okay. And he sits you up like on that guy's like on on his knees. And he's like, Weird. oh. Oh, geez, I forgot about him. Um, here. And he just like kind of <laughs> takes a jar and throws some more leeches on him. <laughs> it's just, he just sprinkles <laughs> them out. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just shakes the jar. A few leeches drop off. And he's like, that should do her. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And then he, he's holding this jar of leeches and he's like, here, let's try this. And he just starts throwing leeches into your bark. Okay. Um, and what they're doing is because you have bark skin there, they're they're only drawing away the blood. Uh, okay. And then they're dropping off like relatively quickly. Um, and so it's like, like slurping it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, he throws some leeches at you and then he gets the matches out and he starts burning like the holes oh, where they God. are so that they cauterizes and he's like okay it looks like your um your your physiology it's not even necessarily changing it's probably how it always was but uh, uh i didn't used to have a bark titty it, no but it, you have one you know one 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 regular nipple right about there and it was all you know like skin color like this and then he shows him like his regular skin and it's all gross all like pallid and like 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 it's greasy and uh it's like it's got little like i don't know nodules let's say nodules in weird places fair enough well you don't look like little that tiny no scabs it don't look like that no more um it seems like when you're into yourself your scar tissue comes in as whatever the fuck this is and he's poking at your wound <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, I guess it doesn't really hurt. You know, I thought it would hurt when you touched it, but it really didn't. I feel fine. Uh, I don't. Should I be worried about that? Is it normal? I don't know. I, it, what's normal? Wait, who? What is normal? Who knows? Who oh, knows? I don't know. But um, yeah, and he spent some time, and it's 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 a little bit archaic, and and like he constantly kind of flits between you and the other patient, forgetting that the other one is there. Um, okay. So it takes a little bit. So he's, of time. He's like, gotta, he like puts his coffee down on him. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Was, oh shit! Uh, sorry, I forgot you were there. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, you you he does successfully manage to like mostly heal it. It's no longer oozing blood. Um, That's great. I love it. Yeah, still a little tender, maybe, um, but uh, you're on the bend for sure. And then we'll go over to Dio. Dio, um, bef- after this, um, yeah, actually after um, your ritual. Um, there's a little bit of tension between you and the rest of the group as they kind of figure out that um, that you partook without them. Um, the man himself um, that you spoke to before, who seems to be the leader of this group, um, he does pull you aside and he says, it, it is incredibly dangerous to be doing this alone like to be consuming the flesh without proper preparations without the ritual there are strength in numbers but um something will change in you if you do it again I'll have to keep it in mind. Hmm. Um, and he sends you off. You all return back to, to the city and, and you kind of part ways. Um, you realize that most of these people don't live in Night Market or in Six Towers. Like They live all over the place. Uh, diverse group in terms of city districts. Um, what are you going to do for your second downtime action there? You have no stress. So that's good. So my question becomes, uh, when do the blue coats come? <laughs> they come when I tell when I, when I tell you they come. That's when they come. Uh-oh. But um, it's I'm I'm gonna let everyone get their downtime actions in before I p- pop that off because that could itself could be a score. Oh, yeah. Depending on how you handle it. Yeah. Hmm. Albatross does not know they're coming. Reason. Um. But I, as a player, have that looming over my head whenever that shows up. Ah. Feel the stress, but don't roleplay it. (laughs) (laughs) It's stress for Dio, not for Albatross. Yeah. Uh, bu- 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 bu. I mean, what would I would want to do? Just given the secrecy of the situation, uh, he. Would lay low for a little bit. And then okay. uh, afterwards, he's going to visit Lord Skurlock. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So you 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 pay Lord Skurlock a visit. Um, that uh, that gaunt, taller man that serves as his like butler answers the door and escorts you inside. Um, leads you to the parlor, um, where Lord Skurlock is um sitting there. Um, there's a there's like a cold tea sitting on the table in front of him. Looks like he poured himself a tea and didn't drink it. I am um, gonna interrupt. Wow! I'm sorry. I thought I had time. I'll shut up. What? I was just saying we need to name this guy. Which guy? I feel like his name's Ruckus. Oh, the oh the um the butler. Yeah. Ruckus yeah. butler. Uh, Ruckus yeah. Butler. Ruckus butler. You know, not Riff Raff. Ruckus. Okay. Y'all, y'all are going to start calling on Ruckus behind his back? No, I feel like he needs to have a name. Oh, you want to know his name? You could ask him what his name is. Oh, he's got a name. Never mind then. Forget it. Forget I say anything. Right. <laughs> Edit that out. Go ahead. No, I'm not trying to ask, ask him what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Albatross is going to address Lord Skrillock. It seems like something's troubling you. Um... 
I appreciate your concern. How long have we known each other there, Albatross? Almost seven years? Eight years? In quite some time. I feel I can talk to you more freely than I could with most. Um, the demon you killed is one that I had an open contract with. I didn't know you made contracts for the demon. Well, there's many things I don't tell you about what I do and don't do. That's not our relationship. I'm, I'm sorry I spoke at a time. I didn't know demons could make... I mean... That is their most useful function. They offer power in exchange for what they want. If you find the right demon, they can be quite reasonable. Or, I mean, actually, would, would that be like super commonly known for demons? No, not necessarily. Most people's experience with demons is that they're weird piles of dogs that attack them. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the average encounter, is a weird pile Just your of dogs. Just standard but... pile of dogs theme, and you know, you see them. It, it's almost oh. like, that's like, textbook. But Albatross demons. would know this, being a, like a, someone who hunts demons, right? Yeah. Yeah, most demons are like like they don't speak like they do not speak a language, first of all. Like like or if they do, you don't understand what it is. Like no human would. Um there are some whispers and maybe even some like individuals that are able to work out some sort of uh language or, or method of communication with them, but like most people would see some sort of crazy abomination that you almost always has violent intent. Um, you would also know, like, just at large, like they teach it in schools pretty much across the world. Uh, most demons have some sort of, like, emotional state or, like, purpose that, like, drives them. Um, and it can be things like vengeance. It can be things like... Um, it can be, be things like joy, even, or, like, intense sadness. Um... And then they're usually tied to like some sort of element, like fire, water, earth, something like that. Bless. And if you want to check that out more, it is in the core rule book. You can make your own demons. What? Um, Where's that? There's some pretty cool demon stuff at the back of the book. Yeah, okay. it's like right at the back very the back book. of the book. Oh yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. It's like That's right. 190 back something. Got it. Um, but yeah, you can make your own demons and stuff, and there's a few things that are they're about. Um, yeah, um, you know that Satara could talk. I think she may have spoken to you while you were fighting her. Um, if not, she has spoken in the show to somebody, yeah. at least a few people. She definitely um, spoke to Vey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is and and to Jacob, actually, I think it was Jacob and Bay have heard her speak. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, so like Satara seemed to be some sort of unique demon, though all demons are unique, um, in her ability to be reasoned with. Is what you would know. Okay. So and demons with sentience are definitely... not part of the norm and um, um thinking about it kind of like a like in hindsight now after like uh that combat with satara what lord sturlock would be saying would make sense right like it just be like wait i mean that actually checks out yeah yeah you also know that satara was not like the strongest demon you fought like by any means like she wasn't like particularly powerful she got kicked into a burning house and died 
Mm. Yeah. And she, and she was like like a bit of like a seductress, right? I mean, she's made out of quartz, so it depends what you're into. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you like rocks. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Somebody who's into it, like. It's a spirit but, shaman. Yeah, if you're really into porcelain dolls, maybe. But oh god, no. um, if you like getting your rocks hard to a hard rock, then yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. good. <laughs> uh, okay, do not uh, do not enter Steven Universe joke in here. Okay, um, uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay. You got I mean, I, I want to know context. Sorry to sorry to interject. I'm like, I need I need more info. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um. Ultimately, you would know that some people definitely make deals with demons. Like that's pretty common knowledge. Like it's it's like super risky, and like most people end up dying from it. Um, but people do it. Um, like that's maybe even something that um is pretty common in Tycheros. You 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 have an uncle that tried to make a deal with the demon, and you never saw him again. Hmm. That uncle that's always trying to make a quick buck. Yeah. So he's got a weird scheme, weird angle on stuff. Got and I already thing. showed, I showed Lord Skrillock the. Yeah. Uh, thing. Um, oh, he freaked out. And, and that's right. <laughs> table you at you. <laughs> you did show, and he threw a table at you. Um, he says, part of the problem, Albatross. If I'm, if I'm going to be totally frank is that um, I owed her a debt and that debt has transferred to you. Because she's not really dead. She's bound to you. But I don't think you would appreciate what I've been paying her with. Let's find out what this weird fucking thing's gonna be. Next time. Doll hairs. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> and <laughs> one thousand doll hairs. What might that be? I was to bring her souls that she would sustain herself with. I know that you would not be able to sustain yourself with the soul, but in theory, I do owe you, um, I, I owe you about 10 more souls. The problem that I'm having is that you do not possess the power to pay off your end of the deal. And we're running out of time. And what might that if I fail to provide you with ten souls within three weeks time give or take I can provide you more details about the time um, later um, which I'm fully capable of doing I could do it right now um, I would perish almost immediately and then we must find a solution if I give you the souls then you would be bound to to perform a feat that I just do not believe you have the power to complete. And if you fail to do that within an agreed upon time, you would be forever bound to, to me. As like a indentured servant. Understood. 
I am doing my research. I will do my best to not force that upon you, but um, I hope you understand that given the choice. It would help tremendously if you, um, if you had some method of traveling to the ghost field. Yeah, a one-way ticket to get there. Y'all do. Wait, what? One way to the ghost field. Oh. <laughs> It was a joke. <laughs> Not a good option. Hmm. You oh, know shit. a guy. Take your What's time it? and think about it. I don't expect you to have a solution. I don't have a solution. And, and Dio, I'll just say, I don't have a solution for this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to eat Satara. But I um I did have a whole thing going on with Satara and Skurlock and you kinda just stopped to step right in the middle of it, so I'm making it your problem. In the middle of that <laughs> dance I mean, said I'm taking there your you partner. <laughs> Um, and now it's your deal. Yeah. And so mechanically, I will reveal the clock I have um, going. Um, well, actually, sorry. I have it written manually, so I'm just going to make it and, and fill it in appropriately. Um, Skrlock's deal is a 12-segment clock. Oh, it only lets me do up to eight, so it's going to be two clocks then. Um, actually, um, so what's 12 minus six is six, right? So, yep. Well, it's two math, it. Aaron. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, I hate to do this to you, but, um, there's two segments left on this clock. Oh, <laughs> so just to make sure we've got enough of a sense of a picture of what problem that you're just presenting um <laughs> what just to be clear all right let's go to the whiteboard what is the actual outcome that needs to like come oh, out of this thing okay or so so skurlock when that cl when that clock fills out skurlock will will give dio 10 souls okay at nice. which point Dio will have to go and do something that was originally meant for a demon to go do. That has not been shared and you're purposefully not sharing it. it yeah, like it, yes. it will come up. Okay. It will, it will come up when the clock gets filled. All we know um, is that he has to go into the ghost field. It would help tremendously if he could. Um, yeah. But basically, yeah, like they're, they're I'll, I'll reveal it. There is an enemy of Skurlocks um, that you would have to combat. Oh. Um, yeah, well, combat? I, I could deal with that. Well, you, <laughs> yeah. would, you say that. You say but... that. Skurlock, <laughs> Skurlock, who is afraid of him, who threw a table at you and almost caused three level three yeah. harm, yeah. is afraid uh, of yeah. him. I, I dodged yeah. it. You dodged <laughs> it? Yeah, but yeah, how many times could time. you do that? <laughs> Look, that's the would... issue is how many times can you do that and and for someone that it... wants to kill you and not someone who just got pissed for a second yeah <laughs> um but yeah so there is a threat Oof. that is just well above the scope of what you will be able to survive i'll tell you right now if you try to fight him as albatross right now you will die like okay. i guarantee it i will kill you <laughs> <laughs> Good not albatross dio He'll kill no, Dio. <laughs> no, I'm not going to kill I'll Dio. drive down there. <laughs> I'm already going drive to the there? States next week, so I'll see you. No, yeah, he's already um, halfway there. He'll be here. He'll be in the States. Already, Might as well get a Belgian. Why there. not? Yeah. Might as well come um, down and murder. <laughs> but yes, and then... So do, or, do I just hear O Canada start playing as he's approaching my home? <laughs> it just That's pumps it right goes. out of his body. Just straight <laughs> out of his body. Can I just say, I, I, I talk about Canada a lot. I am not very patriotic. Like, I'm just not a good Canadian. Like that's just how I am, but um, 
yes um and then the all the, the payoff if you fail to to do what he asks you to do or refuse to do it is that you would forever become an indentured servant to him oh that i'm fine with that <laughs> i'm you know what i love I'm, that for you <laughs> yeah thanks guys you know no problem yeah. no, no skin so, off my bones so Skrullock has set the has set the stakes and explained why he was so upset yeah um because ultimately like he doesn't really care about what happens to you he wants his job done that he was originally going to have someone this other demon perform um it, there will be a way that it is certainly possible there um dio i'm not going to throw challenges that are that are impossible at you but i'm saying like if you go in as you are right now you will die um and so maybe he outlines that to some degree to you but um he's pretty vague about the details as i'm being a little bit vague about the details um he also says that he is going to take some time and do his own research to see what he can do Um, and and if in case you missed it, he did imply that Satara is technically not dead, and that in fact you and her have kind of like bonded in some way. He thinks a lot about communicating and dealing with demons. Okay. Did you want to start a long-term project to see if you can learn? more about dealing with demons yes okay um so i'm gonna call i make a new clock called introduction to demonology demonology 101 this sounds like at least a 102 problem though so you're gonna oh, really so crank true. on this clock um and i'll be kind to make it a four segment clock um, if you fill out that clock, I will provide more information about, um, about what you might be into, what you might be able to do about it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and if you would like to take a downtime action now and, and start the process of filling out that clock, you are welcome to do so. Absolutely. Uh, would that be a steady roll? Um, so, and with the long-term clock, it's one of those things where you get to pick how you would like to approach it. Some things make more sense than others. So describe what you're doing to learn about demons as you leave Skrlock's house. Hmm. Like, would you go and hit up the books? Would you go ask someone about it? Would you go and, like, sneak around and somewhere and find it? Like, you can, there's a lot of ways to skin this cat, but I just need to know what you're doing. Like, studying them in, in hiding or, like, you know, fighting a weak one while, like, observing it. Like, Taking some notes, like, stabbing one while writing in a notebook in the other hand. I mean, I'm I'll like, say this, it, it, in theory, it could be possible to intimidate a demon as someone who hunts demons so you could skirmish yeah. your way or command your way into getting information like weak little weak lesser demons and you work your way up <laughs> i mean that seems like very much like he just starts going through this gauntlet of demons yeah. i mean yeah okay i mean that yeah, like I want, I want to encourage you to explore your options and not feel like you have to study it. Um, that's just what Myri does because she's good at it. She likes sniffing books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna, he's just gonna go into this underground ring of demons and just start beating the shit out of every demon he can to figure out. Okay. And he's and he's gonna push it. Okay, you're gonna push yourself for um, extra die. Yes. Okay. Or um, for a better result. Um, or yeah, I'll allow you to push yourself for greater effect. Um, basically, 
you take the stress, I'll push up the value as if you spent coin. Um, okay. by one. We'll, we'll go there. And it's going to be whiskey uh, for great? Yeah, sure. Um, it, it, for this kind of thing, it, it doesn't really come into play like that. Okay, um, no, you're not right. ever, yeah, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's just, um, it's, it's slightly different than a typical action roll. Um, okay. Oh, nice. So you managed to fill out three segments of this four segment clock. Um, you find yourself prowling the, um, the canals below, like you, um, you know of some areas where you could do it on foot. Maybe you take a boat, however you feel like you do it. Um, specifically, you know that there's a type of demon that kind of looks like a rat. Um, it's called a rat demon. You, yes. <laughs> um, you've also heard rumors of something called a rat king. Oh. Ooh, gross. Um, and that this is one of those demons that may be able to speak. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, you um, you basically are hunting these rats in, in the sewers. Um, and um, they're not reasonable or, like, intelligent enough to really speak to you. But, like, as you um, find, like, a, maybe a group of five or six of them um, eating, like, a person, um, you kill one of them and they all run off in the same direction and you manage to follow them. Um. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, Dio. You did fill out the whole clock because you pushed yourself for great, for effect, and that's what I said it would do. So you fill out the clock. You find this rat king. Um, and I don't know if you've ever seen a rat king in real life. That person. Is, that, is the rat king the same thing we would? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. It was the same thing that happened in the Spirit Wardens episode that we um, have not released yet because oh. of editing issues. Ooh. A little behind the scenes view. Oh. Yes. There was a whole episode <laughs> that unfortunately um, I was not able to release and I may not be able to release. I've been waiting for it and hoping. It's, it's, I that, know. it's that. To be honest, the solution is, is I would have to re-record my entire track. Oh no! Which I thought get to work. Yep, I've I've, 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 done, I've started it. I just don't oh. know if I have time. Um, to be honest, but um, yeah. Um, you do see that there is. It is not as large as the one that you that I described to you in that episode that no, the audience hasn't heard. This <laughs> is kind of like, maybe like a person-sized pile of rats entangled and meshed together. Um, I don't know if you um, if you've ever watched Hilda, um, but it's a show on it's it's on Netflix. It's a it's a show um, where like this young girl talks to like weird trolls and stuff like that, and she's very friendly with them. And a rat, the Rat King is a character in that as well, and kind of like that, it moves over towards you like a wave, um, just kind of hiding in the corners, um, away from the light. Mm. And it hisses and whispers, and it says, "Let's see my best rat impression." Yes, hello. Would you um come to my lair? What for? It just sounds like you. <laughs> it sounds like me. I already, I, I, guys, ladies and gentlemen at home, you haven't seen me because this is an audio only thing. Big CJ is a cartoon character. I'm a rat. It's true. He's, he's his greasy rat. Like, let me do my best impression. I mean, his Hello favorite there. movie is to a little. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. Let me get in character here. All right. How I, you I, doing? I, I was not prepared to be a rat today. Okay, guys. You gotta do this. You gotta go. You gotta go like this. Well, it's like, it's it's Will like you that. Come like, into my lair. That raspy like. Hello. There. Like, I'll, the I'll, I'll, I'll retcon it. I'll retcon it. And you're gonna retcon of, it. I'm retcon it. <laughs> you're gonna retcon it. And now the rat is vaguely Eastern European. Uh, the Rat King. Yes, hello. Welcome to my lair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
ill Very will. Many I am rat. Yes. You have for me. What do you provide? I am from Ratvia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ratvia. Okay, guys. Yes. Hold on. Would you, would you like some vodka? Anyways, I'm. Uh, let's see. Fuck up. Uh, huh. I'm, I'm I'm still thrown off by the uh, by the voice. Okay. Um. <laughs> do not be disturbed by my voice. It's perfect. <laughs> Make your request. So the goal right now is to try to figure out more about demons and uh, how to deal with the soul sacrifice and going into the ghost world. The ghost field is what they ghost call it. Ghost field. Yeah. Um. Rat King is very well connected. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's funny. That's, you know, all right. Oh, yes, you are talking of Satara's deal, yes. Yes. Mm. Mm, I can see that you are touched. Um, and, and like, he, like, kind of extends, like, his hand, and then, like, a rat jumps off and, like, touches your palm, like, lands in your palm. <laughs> um, the one with the glass in it. Um, is, is very good. Um, Satara, Satara, uh, she is, a uh, interesting one. Sneaky. Uh, you will find that, uh, in your current stage, you would not, you would not fare well against the challenge that she was to face. But perhaps... Perhaps if you were to indulge. To become more like Satara, like I. Mayhaps even like Skirmok. You would be able to do this. And then he would owe you. Perhaps he did not mention that. Are you suggesting that I go into the realm of demons? To turn are you su suggesting that you are more demon than man as you stand today? An interesting prospect. Hmm. Prospects. Um, and and we'll we'll fade to black on this as uh, Dio and Albatross make their decision. Um, you have an at length discussion with the Rat King, and I will provide you with details about what he has to say and what he'll tell you in a private message, so you can decide what to do with that information. All right. Okay. Um. And then we will move away from there. We're going to go to Myri. Myri. Oh, boy. Well, Myri or Shiova or, or the girl. Like, what, what, what are you up to? Hmm. Myri got to have her fun time doing the, the, the generator, but I think she also needs to actually clear stress. That wasn't as fun as it was. It wasn't actually clearing stress, and she's only got one pip left. <sighs> Oh my, yeah. Which, I mean... Oh, come on, join us in the... Oh, join us in <laughs> I know, the right? Mode. I'm just like, uh, okay, but like, I could just let her get traumatized and then that's all goes away. There you go. <laughs> go for it. Just get fucked up. Yeah. Just mess up. Don't live in anxiety. Just let her fuck you up. <laughs> well, I'm going to get anxiety if... <laughs> Is that one of the options for Fallout? Uh, I was going to um, take paranoia, but you know. Paranoia, yeah. There you go. <laughs> She, I don't know what to do then. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, what would what would be more important to Myri than than reducing stress right now? What would be more important? Hmm. She's already got her kick-ass gun. That's true. Mm. Also, quick note mechanically is just that, like you know, when the stress fills out, it is like you're out for the scene, right? Yeah, you're out for the scene. So, like in theory, like if it's the first thing she does, she might rejoin you a little bit later in the score. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Um, it kind of depends because like the last score was basically one scene. 
Because we kind of split into three. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Shit, I don't know. Oh my, do you want me to to, to ask Bay or, or Ethan and then yes. we'll come back to you? Okay. Yes. Ethan. Same right. question. Yeah, well, um, so I want to do one thing mechanically and then want to go through and start, um, I don't know, sort of a gather information, but we're not quite at that point of, I don't know, maybe it'll kind of kick it off. So um, mechanically, what I want to do is... Um, um, now that uh, the power is set up, it's uh, about time for me to recharge. And so Drillbit's going to go and... Um, what is that called? It's not indulging a vice. Uh, clearing gloom. Um, drain. I got to clear drain. drain. Yeah, you're clearing drain. Um, so yeah, um, because you have taken the time to set this up, um, you can just do it. You just yes. do it. And so with with how this works, um, basically with the, the contraption set up and I imagine now like atop of the university, there's just this like, you know, kind of a, it looks like a bit of a junky box and a whole bunch of wires kind of connecting out to it. And it just kind of glows blue every once in a while. And you've got like these cables that kind of swivel down and then eventually they go, they pop into university, but you don't actually see anything there. And there's just like, this set of lockers and so what happens is, is Drobik goes and he just kind of opens up a locker door and he gets inside and shuts it and so just like a like a recharging station basically kind of inside this locker um there's just this big kind of fuse switch and he and he hits it and you can tell there's just kind of like you know there's a there's a cable at the top and then there's a cable about halfway through there and he just kind of leans back and lets like that hit two different parts of his body and uh, the energy just starts kind of flowing through and it's um, it's almost like a massage if you think of it that way as far as how, how relaxing it is and it's like, oh, is that the spot? And, oh, nice. yeah. It's jacking on in there. <laughs> Jack- <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and... Um, and so I will be kind because it does not say in the book whether to round up or down. I will round up so you can clear three stress. Nice. Um, oh, no, no, no. Um, so whispers uh, drain half. Um, with, oh, with ghosts. Hulls, yeah, yeah. With, with holes and electroplasm, it's just a clear five drain. Oh. Oh, well, then there you go. Clear five drain. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, you right. only had five, so you're at zero. Boom. No, just and didn't even overindulge on that sweet electroplasm. Well, that's the best part about dying is you can't overindulge your vice anymore. Oh, true. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, don't don't overindulge if you're, if you're alive dead. still. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part about dying. Um, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, we'll move away from Drill Bit in that, and we'll talk about what you were going to do next. Yeah, so with that, um, and, and having the list of the, of the names from Lord uh, Skirlock, Bay's going to go and uh, investigate and try to get a better sense of what's going on. And I guess really what uh, Bay's looking to do is kind of, from this list, understand um, who these other two parties are, and uh, more so of like, what the MOs are for this party. So, so Vey's going to kind of go and um, he's going to go, I don't know, walk around town. I'm trying to think of a spot to go to uh, that's not a bar. I always go, he goes to a bar. What, I'm like, what's another place that you talk to people? I'm so out of touch. Coffee uh, shop. Um, yeah, Blind, like you go to like one of those. You know what? You go to the Sheets, um, which is in Coleridge. And it's kind of like a communist gathering ground for people nice. that are in the political know. Oh, that's perfect. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make my way over to the sheets and just try to understand what the the, the two sides that we've talked about, as I looked at my notes, which are, which is, uh, and just understand 
what type of force and you know risk that we have coming in from the either the leviathan hunters or the ministry of preservation right try to he's just kind of going in and trying to understand um you know what they do in order to force people to not vote or to you know put pressure on and so okay absolutely um so for free i'll give you the following information um you can check out the addresses provided and they are residences all of them so these are the residences of these people so you know where lord strangford's house is you know where like everyone else on that list like you know where they live um also for free i'll provide you with the following information because you would know this um just kind of being Maybe not from Dustfall, but you've been here long enough that, like, people have talked about it. Um, it is not a subtle affair when people, like, it is very common in Dustfall for basically, like, privatized militaries to show up and intimidate slash hurt people that try to vote. That they, like, it's it's kind of like their version of gerrymandering. Mm. Gerrymangling? <laughs> Um, so you know that that's like they're just going to show up with weapons and beat people up like that's probably their plan cool fair enough uh, I'm like you're like oh by the way this is super obvious they just show up and knock shit down I'm like oh it's not okay. subtle <laughs> it's it's not it, like like the newspaper has provided warnings saying like bring your armor bring your weapons like if you want a bow um, and that's pretty common across the district, though there would be more information to, 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 go, to glean specifically about how they might impact six towers. Yeah, so I think that's it, right? And so while at the sheets, um, you know, Vey's going to be just chit-chatting, you know, talking amongst people, and um, maybe he's going to see a group of um, people who are obviously Leviathan hunters, and he's going to kind of make his way into that um, area and just start, you know, chatting through, uh, and trying to, you know, get closer in. And it's like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me that role, and we'll, uh, we'll, and I'll give you some information, some role play based off of that. Oh, uh, the fact nice. that it's a crit, um, you, uh, you get lots of information. All so the information. Be before you even join in on the conversation, you, um, there's a pair of Leviathan hunters, we'll say. They have the um, the, the the crest on, and they're wearing their uniforms, um, more or less. Like they like when they're not on the boat, they have like cloaks that they wear to signify who they are. Um, and they're talking to um, to like an older woman. Um, clearly, both of these people have known her for a long time, and they're just like the Strangford is is going off his rails. I, I know that we haven't we haven't produced in, in such a long time. Um, I I just don't understand the what, what he wants us to do now. He's asking us to go into Six Towers on Election Day. Um, we're supposed to set up blockades. We're supposed to um, to stop people from crossing it. It's it's just insane. Um it's not what I would do. It's not what I want to do, but um, I don't know how else. Like, if it's just not something you can do to deny Strangford. Uh, so you know that they're not necessarily 100% down with the plan, but the plan is to literally blockade the street um, around the area um, with the Leviathan Hunters. Um, do you want to speak with them? Oh, that is interesting. I will say it will go well because you rolled a critical success. <laughs> That's that is fair, and it's I'm like Ooh. I am playing the cunning character who is the I always dive in, and it's like, man, I'm not never I'm, I'm never nearly as clever as Vey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but. Having pre-rolled, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, so 
gosh, I'm like, how, how, how do you like like dive in? And it's just like, oh well, like you know, if you're if you're if you're trying to put a stop to like put like blockings on on six towers, like obviously you're doing North Street over into East, right? Because that would definitely stop, uh, you know, at, at least the majority of the folks from from reaching the poles. And Vey's gonna just kind of subtly introduce himself into the conversation as if he was in it already. Okay. So I'll give you an option. Because you had the increased effect. You, it was a good roll. Do you want to mislead them and give them bad information? Or do you want to learn more about what the Ministry of Preservation is up to? Ooh. Um, I want to mislead them with bad information. Okay. Um... And it's pretty easy to do because the information isn't necessarily bad. You just know that you have enough time to just tell people to go around. Maybe start your day in the south of the district, south of the district, and move your way north. Like you know what I mean. Like so, you 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 have some sort of plan in place, and I'm making note of it that um, they are not going to be in the best positions. Um, but they take your advice pretty seriously. Um. However, that conversation goes. We're running low on time, so I don't want to RP the whole thing. Um, <laughs> but yes, you um, you do manage to get them um, thinking that like they have a pretty solid plan about how they could organize this more effectively. Um, but um, you just know that you would be able to work, work around, around that it. plan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and we'll, we'll we'll leave you there. You you do chat with them. You learn a few things. Um, you learn like that all while Lord Strangford is head of the Leviathan Hunters um, Guild, um, that he is not actually super well liked right now by most of the Leviathan Hunters because he is making some very questionable uh, decisions as of late um, and that they have not actually yielded any Leviathan's blood in almost half a year. Um, the, really? when they say that yes um it is borderline a crisis yeah, they yeah it hasn't really come up you know on purpose yeah it's been going on and jacob never told us no of course not that's why he's <laughs> able to just wander around <laughs> there's, there's nothing going on there's no work yeah um the, 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 the Leviathan fields have um, come up empty as of late is um, how they word it. Um, and there's a lot of concern about that um, amongst the, the people who are in the know, which is not very many. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and I think that's about it. We're going to go over to CJ. CJ. Yes. You had some time to think about it? <laughs> the guardian's like, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I know what I want to do. All right. Myri wakes it. up one morning and there is a feather on her chest and she mm -hmm. had a dream of disturbing imagery of her compatriots being consumed by some golden cloak. So she would like to help them in the only way she knows she is useful in sniffing books. Okay. So she would like to study the Golden Cloak to figure out what the fuck is going on here. Okay. Um, I am going to... You go it's ahead and... Long-term um, project? Yeah, it's a long-term project. Um, we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about Shadow Man. Shadow Man. Shadow Man. That's what I'll call it. Um, it is an eight-segment clock. And I'll throw it on this thing. But go ahead and give me a roll for that. You got it. Oh, we're shuttling. There he is. That's got lots of clocks going now. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a tricky subject. Yep. Um, and, and that is ultimately you are finding that there's not a lot of books. Um, at least we're not readily available in um, either the library that you live in or the library that you um, 
traveled in previously, like that larger library. Mm -hmm. um, you have looked through a lot of these books. There are lots of books about um, old gods and, and the sun and, and lots of things that you've been kind of glancing at. This figure, the the idea of the yellow cloak, the idea of um, the sun um, and some sort of tree, um, birds eating goats or anything like that. Like, it's just, it. you're really having trouble finding where to start. But you know where... You, you've you've gone through enough that you you kind of are narrowing it down slowly. Um, so you make one segment on the Shadow Man clock. Yeah, I know where not to look now. Okay. Um, we are getting pretty close to the end of the night here, guys. So I want to do one last call out. Does anyone want to take a third downtime action? Um. Let me take a peek at these clocks here. We got some acquire followers clocks. Something bad? That doesn't sound good. Something Let's bad is a clock that I control. Yeah. yeah. Um, the acquire followers uh, might be worth doing. We still have gold to, or I'm sorry, not gold, coin to distribute. Um, okay, so. Oh, yeah, if we want to talk like, um, we're, we're like full rep to like level the cult, yeah. right? Yes. So yeah. you, if you guys are going to do that now, would probably be the time um, we can kind of montage that. Um, so I also added one turf, and that turf is you guys setting up the power grid. Okay, cool. Okay. You can pick where you want the turf to be on the map. I just clicked it so that it was there. Because um, I'm like, there's different pathways you can take. Um, but. Um, yeah, the power grid itself is giving you some influence within the town as people will probably ask you to use it. I can't uh, charge my phone. But um, for eight coin, you guys could move to a uh, <laughs> tier one with a stronghold. Ooh, a stronghold. We'll take that. I, I, would love like, a stronghold. I, I do want to upgrade. Like, I'd, like okay. I'm down to spend the money if you want to. No worries. Yeah, it feels so, right. It feels right. Um, that leaves you with five coin in your lair still from last time you also have a gun um a revolver that's worth four coin that's okay. still there and then Adam, um, we got screaming goats last session as well we got yeah. the goats we got yeah. the goats. Ah, finally how many goats two goats Man. yes it's a pair of goats and did a we single name card. them we have not named them yet. no they just kind of came in mid heist basically okay but they're permanent goats Mm -hmm. Yep. One of them needs to be named John Paul Gautier. Gautier for short. Maybe. <laughs> I think it's a. I think it's a, a personal decision. But whether or not you nickname and disrespect the goat, so. Um. Anybody have speak to animals? Wait, wrong game. Yeah, yeah wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yes, you guys are tier one with a stronghold. Um. You have five coin remaining, um, plus any coin on your character sheets. You can always pull from stash. I was going to say, do we get stash oh, at the actually, end of Yes, you do. You do get stash when you upgrade. Um, so you guys will gain three stash right now. Everybody? Everybody. Everybody. Nice. And that is true every time you upgrade, and that's true every time you fill out your crew XP. Okay. So, um... I think we I, missed I, one. Then add it. I don't care. It's, it's I would like good. to. I would like to progress this acquire followers clock, uh, but okay. I don't know where we're at with additional coin. Uh, can can we dump one to do that? Yeah. Does anyone have coin on their character sheet? You have coin in the in the vault too. Yeah. Yeah. Just grab one from the vault. Okay. Yeah. It's all for academic. There. For I marked right? it. I marked it off. So go okay. ahead and invest into your school i would like to attune to do this okay and this is as ludes yes okay as the dean doing yeah. his deanly duty deanly do uh yeah, cool. so it's like the green day, day commercial i got a sixer oh. okay um so that's gonna mark you three more so you're one, one short two, of filling it out 
They might want. Spend. Are we cool to dump the extra coin to recruit some? I don't know, ghastly students or faculty. Ooh. Do you want it to be faculty? Get teachers in the school? Yeah, yeah. you guys are missing teachers. But Charter <laughs> Hall also yeah. recently burnt down. So maybe there's some people but looking for jobs. How many people, how, hear me out, how many teachers died in that fire? Not very many, actually. Um, some? They have good fire safety protocol. Um, so, if I, you want if you want them to say, to me to say yes, then I, I will consider it. <laughs> Why Are you not? trying to hire them after the fact? They got fired. Now they're getting hired. Nice. Uh, yeah. Um, so you guys start to hire teachers, and you can describe the teachers any way you want. But um, that's they, what we'll they're say. all screaming all the time and on fire. I'm like yeah. spectral. They're all like yeah. ah, mathematics. Ah. <laughs> so I've been keeping track of how many times you built this. I am willing to workshop what that means and i'll talk to you about it in between sessions here cool. um you guys can either have followers that are kind of like expendable and right now you would have three of them um available like um or i can basically make like a like a tier of school like as your school becomes more valuable you're kind of moving up like you would in a crew tier so that would put them at a level one strong as well your school is now like a level one school intriguing i think so this some... uh deserves further uh discussion yeah. yeah we'll discuss it in between sessions about how we want that to play out but yes for the time being you managed to um to bring over some faculty maybe some of them are dead maybe some of them are alive up to you guys but it would be a mix yeah yeah as long as they're all dead inside. That's right. I'll just pay them less. That'll do her. Um, and then we have one more thing. Unless anyone else has any more downtime actions they want to do. We actually have two things I want to deal with before I we end our session. That. All right. Hit us with the hard stuff. Okay. Well, look, the first one's not hard. Someone go ahead and and roll one die for me. Uh oh. Here comes. All right. Okay, you do not gain any coin from your vice net. Oh. Ah, bullshit. Um, it's it's a bit of a wash because you know, like maybe you're giving some of the money back to, um, to the Church of the Weeping Ladies. Like you guys have some sort of arrangement going on with them. Um, you know, um you've been focused on other stuff so maybe you haven't been recruiting as hard okay fine. but yeah um the second thing is is that the blue coats show up oh, oh yeah ow. oh yeah that's right we already knew that was gonna happen yep. I'm surprised. I um I they show up with a warrant and um they kind of come just marching in um Darmit is the oh. one holding the warrant. Um, he grabs Ludes and kind of pins him down against the table. Um, and he's and he and he like looks back to the other guys like uh, make sure you get uh, make sure you get um, a lightning hook for this guy. He's he's a little bit slippery. Um, hey. And you see at least a couple of them draw out their lightning hooks and kind of are keeping an eye on you. Um, and um, Darmit. Um, looks to uh, Bay, we'll say, because Bay is there, sure, why not? You're all there. Everybody except for probably Jacob Bridgewater. And he says, all right, we got a warrant here for one arrest. Somebody's coming with me. Unless you've got the right amount of coin. We just spent all the money. I say Fuck. we just spent the money. <laughs> Why'd you guys spend the money? Uh, I mean, before we start, I panicking, spent it on hiring ghosts. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I think we do have enough money, but I think it also brings us down but, to zero money. Yeah, so it would be six coin. We have right, six so, across all of us. <laughs> I, I, out of out of character, out of you know, 
It should either be loot, because he can just leave. Or it could be Vey, because Vey can do a lot of good shit. Well, he's in there. Right? Well, so there's three options of how to handle this. And I want to make sure you have all of them. Be fair. Dio caused this too, so let's put him up on the top. <laughs> I mean, we could, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, block. like, we could just, we could, you know, get rid of the problem. I mean, <laughs> I mean, have they have they have they said anything about me being the cause of the problem? He said someone's gotta come. They don't care who he someone's said, gotta. Yeah, he said he has a warrant for one arrest. Um, and, and it's pretty common in in Dustball that a lot of times they know that criminal enterprises exist and they want them to continue to exist to justify their existence. And so often they'll they'll arrest one person for an entire crew's crimes. Um, unless like you're like really a problem. Um, do you have three options? You can pay six coins. You can hand someone over for arrest, which will clear your heat entirely. It is pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. getting you all the way down to zero stress, or you can try to evade capture. <laughs> Everybody just cheeses it. <laughs> <laughs> Scatter! Well, and they, I guess that's the <laughs> score that you were talking about. Yeah. I kind of love that. But, like, at the same time, like, I kind of also love not having any heat anymore. I also do kind of like that, too. It's just do like what, take... rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> do we very quickly want to take a look at incarceration? I would love to. I'd love to get a sense of what that is. Let's take a peek. I feel like, as the spider, I am the person who goes to jail, but I have no idea of what that actually entails. <laughs> the only way to reduce your crew's wanted level is through incarceration. When one of your crew members, friends, contacts, or a framed enemy is convicted and incarcerated for crimes associated with your crew, your wanted level is reduced by one, and you clear your heat. So it's not gone. It's just down by one. My bad. Um, I'll read that part. Just incarceration may them. result from investigation arrest by officers because someone turns himself in or takes the fall for the crew's crimes. The severity of prison sentence depends on your wanted level. So at wanted level three, this person is going to jail for a year or two. Ooh, Ooh that is not brief. Ooh. Um, incarceration is dehumanizing and brutal. The renown of your crew is your only real defense inside. When you serve time, make an incarceration roll using your crew's tier as the dice pool. Um, and then you can, um, you can gain rep um, from that role. You can um, you can gain prison claims. There are things that you can do in prison that no one else could do um, that help you in prison and help you outside of prison. Um, so that is something to consider. This seems like it requires Ooh. some deliberation. <laughs> Mm. Like this, this, this might be a discussion for the coming days. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I will. We'll say. With all that being said, I think this might be our session for today. Is there anything else anyone wants to say or do in this particular moment? I do like the freeze frame. And it's just like head, 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 head. Next time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next uh, yeah. time on Sins and Consequences. We'll see you next week. Nighty night. And to the. Dove.